beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed on it stay blessed let me just take a minute or two to inspire and encourage someone. Um, I just felt it really strong while I was preparing to come. Before we look at that scripture, you can leave it up there. But you see, let me teach you something about commanding results. Among the many factors that are responsible, please listen. Among the many factors that are responsible for producing results, you need a very strong sense of desire and determination. No one ever succeeds becoming passive, careless, and um, less fair about life. There is a level of passion and commitment you must communicate, whether it is the pursuit of spiritual things, your finances, your life, ministry, business, whatever it is. Success will always find expression in an environment where passion, desire, you know, lots of believers want great things. They want to step into deep dimensions of intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Many people want to walk in miracles, signs and wonders. They want very superior dimensions of the spirit manifested in their lives but largely our the communication of our desire and our determination the staying power the capacity to remain until that dimension is unfolded in your life i think that that is where many of us believers need to make a lot of adjustments we are generally very passive very very passive and very quite careless over the communication of our determination for spiritual things and you see the thing about god is it takes a level of desire god loves everybody he does not trust everybody trust is based on a track record a track record of hunger a track record of a, a predeterminate desire in your heart many of us have come here tonight i came i saw people outside you know some lying flat trusting god for a miracle probably they were carried here you know and all of that there must be a desire you may not have the power in yourself to lift yourself up from the wheelchair or from the crutch or whatever it is but you must communicate that passion i love the people who led the prayers they kept adjusting our faith to understand that look it will take a hunger and a desire the moment you have options then forget about encounters are we together you have to insist tonight and say lord i'm not walking out of here barren i'm not walking out of here sick i'm not walking out of here with the same level of confusion i'm not walking out of here bankrupt of that dimension of the anointing i came with an exact desire 
an exact intention and whenever you insist you provoke the hand of god this is very true psalm 30 look at 37 i think it should be 37 it just came to my spirit i'm searching for that scripture now yeah delight yourself also in the lord and he shall give thee the what the desires of thy heart it is possible for god to come to a man and not be able to communicate anything because there is no desire are we together now now you see god is almighty his possibilities are endless it takes the construction that our faith builds to channel the dimension of him that we seek to see revealed in our lives are we together now if you're not barren there is no need god coming to reveal himself as one who can open up your womb you're not barren that dimension of him is possible but it is not needed as far as your desires are concerned so it is the responsibility of the believer to intentionally use your faith to create an exact expectation lord i am trusting that you will visit me i am crippled i'm trusting that this leg will work lord there are all kinds of oppression in my life all doors have been closed i'm trusting that the doors be open you cannot say lord just come do whatever you want to do that's not a very wise prayer you have to define he said give us this day he didn't just say what we want give us this day our daily bread he can give many things he sent quails he sent bread he brought water out of the rock there are several things he can do you define the possibilities of god that should be communicated to you through your faith but much more than just blind faith through specificity specificity of desire specificity of um, intention are we together now so i just thought that it is very important in fact this is a general principle that works in life not just when it comes to receiving from god you will never achieve anything when there is no exact desire you will never achieve anything when there is no specificity there has to be that dimension of exactness lord i am trusting you for a move of the spirit in my life i'm trusting you that my ministry will step into another dimension i'm trusting you that my family will step into another dimension end the plague of sickness and all kinds of things when you connect this way then it becomes impossible for you to walk without a miracle hallelujah praise the lord let me encourage our hearts this morning before we rise up john 14 verse 12 i am a firm believer in the bible the words of jesus are no story to me when i read them i believe them they are not just scripture they are life i believe them exactly as they are written jesus is teaching here and this is what he says verily verily i say unto you he that believeth on me whoever believes on me he says the works that i do he shall also do and greater works than this shall he do because i go to the father jesus now there are all kinds of theological debates as to what exactly jesus was talking about um, many people meant a higher dimension of reality other people talk of greater results regardless of what dimension you look at it jesus was saying there is a possibility of walking in a dimension that you were not born with listen carefully a dimension that is god's own class of results are we together now he's teaching us how to live a life that is invincible and this is what he says he says that greater dimensions that you have seen manifest you will walk in and you see every time god speaks before he utters a word he vets and probes himself whether he has the capacity to make good that word every time he speaks it is a communication of a a resolve he has searched and he has found out that what he's saying is within his capacity to produce it there are several people in need of the touch of god people talk about anointing all the time they want to step into deeper dimensions they want to tap into the wave of revival that is sweeping across cities and by the way i want you to know that there is a mighty move of god that is happening across the continent of africa specifically nigeria 
um, away with all those blind talks that people talk as if nothing is happening it takes the eye of the spirit to see the formation there is a mighty mighty move of the spirit an awakening that is sweeping across and what a joy it is to participate in contributing our quota to that 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 unstoppable tsunami that will sweep across the nations of the earth the, the word of god is full of prophecies that points to those seasons that a time will come in the dealings of god with men where they will be able to tap into higher dimensions of his possibility they will be able to cause his glory to be revealed across territories in measures and dimensions that have not been previously known so i want you to believe up front that we are a people who believe all of god and we are a people who have aligned ourselves to allowing god find full expression there is no limit to the dimension of god that can be revealed every time god looks limited the limitation is not his capacity it is our inability to understand his system and to align enough to bring down to be able to host all the multifaceted possibilities that are contained in him are we together now and tonight there are several cases right from home i began to see several situations that touched my heart and i said lord you can't let your people go that way and the lord put something in my heart that i just want to share with us very briefly and then we'll pray i have a passion and a commitment to helping people have an encounter a true encounter not just a noise making encounter an encounter with a definite result that you will leave and it will be very clear that heaven found expression in your life heaven found expression in your situation heaven found expression that your life will be an epistle to let people know that jesus is not limited in any way if you believe that say amen, amen. hallelujah first john chapter 5 and verse 4 apostle john taught us something very remarkable first john chapter 5 and then verse 4 and he said for whatsoever is born of god whatsoever is born of god has capacity to overcome the world are we together now that's the expression there whatever is born of god has capacity to overcome the world but then he says that that overcoming is engaged through a system the dear lady who led prayer here taught us about spiritual intelligence are we together every time you see possibilities in scripture now there are two dimensions i've taught you of accessing the reality of scripture there is the prophetic dimension realities as far as god's dimension is concerned but there is the experience of it where it becomes manifest in your life on the strength of your engaging the required mysteries that demonstrate your partnership with God to actualize it. Are we together now? So here the Bible says, whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. The rendition there is has capacity enshrined in it is the composition to overcome this system and all the limitations that come with it. And then he says, and this is the victory in other words this is the system wherewith the victory was designed to find expression it says even our faith even our faith even our faith it takes faith in this kingdom to be able to produce realities that have been represented in scripture realities that are capable of being our testimony the fact that the bible records them does not mean they will happen automatically i think this is one of the biggest challenges to the body of christ i don't think we are unaware of the provisions that are guaranteed from scripture but the systems everybody says systems say it one more time systems the systems of the kingdom that were built around those possibilities the inability to access what system was designed to produce what outcome will make us continue to look at scripture and believe they are there but never walk in the experience of it it is god's desire not only that we read the bible and see possibilities written therein but that our lives become epistles that those realities that are represented in the bible must find expression in my life 
and your life when the bible says that a believer should walk in miracles signs and wonders we can read it we can write books about it but there is is an entirely different thing to engage the systems required to bring that individual into an experience of it are we together the bible says for instance they shall lay hands on the sick many people have tried it they laid hands on the sick and the sick were not healed every time you try a thing and it does not work there is something you do not understand about what you studied that's why it takes a spirit of revelation ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 the prayer of paul to the church you don't have to turn there he cried they were born again they were believers but he knew that they needed to be assisted by a dimension of the operation of the holy spirit otherwise they would never enter into the experience of the kingdom nicodemus came to jesus by night chapter 3 of john and he says verse 1 rabbi he says we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do these things and then he said unto him in verse 3 he says verily verily i say unto you except a man be born again listen carefully he says he cannot see the kingdom then the next verse nicodemus says how can how can a man be born for a second time can he enter back into his mother's womb and then verse 5 he opens up up to another dimension he says verily verily i say unto you except a man listen be born of what water and the spirit then he says he cannot enter so he talks of seeing the kingdom an awareness of the possibilities that are there you know that there is a provision in the dealings of god with men for the sick to be healed there is a provision in the dealings of god with men where men are immune from the ability of sicknesses to touch them there is a provision where we are lifted above the grip of 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 demons and devils but it's one thing to have that awareness listen believers but it's another thing to understand the systems and the mysteries that were attached to be able to cause us to walk in the experience of that outcome so we we hold several scriptures that we cannot defend with our lives there is a possibility for restoration but what is the key that is attached i am passionate about revealing to believers the mysteries that are responsible for causing spiritual realities to become their experience just like shortly we are going to be celebrating the victory miracles upon miracles but the issue is not just an anointed man the issue is that underlying these miracles and testimonies and the manifestations of the grace and the power of god are vessels that have aligned themselves through understanding you see most of us um the theology about faith listen carefully the theology about faith that is being communicated as powerful as it is may limit us from walking in the experience of the power the grace and the revelation of all that is contained in god faith is not just believing unseen things um they don't have to be unseen faith it's not just believing on seeing things so that they will manifest that's a dimension of it but faith listen true bible faith the foundation for true bible faith starts with an encounter an encounter without an encounter you will not have true bible faith an encounter is not a vision an encounter is an experience that is initiated by the holy spirit that causes a spiritual truth a reality the reality of a scripture to be crystallized in your heart the end of an encounter is conviction the end of an encounter is conviction you'll never be able to walk in a dimension where you are guessing and hoping and wondering no sir encounters are necessary for believers that's why the holy spirit was given to us the spirit of truth are we together now so he introduces encounters in our lives you can read the bible and quote a scripture it doesn't mean you've had an encounter with that scripture you may even learn it 
and know it of heart sincerely speaking it has not been released in your heart but when the Holy Ghost breathes upon it it does something to you and that scripture comes alive it's called an encounter occasionally it may be backed up by visionary experiences to strengthen your conviction but the end of encounters is that you get to a point of persuasion unbending resolve persuasion about the possibility of God as far as that matter is concerned are we blessed second Timothy please chapter 1 and verse 12 let's look at second Timothy 1 verse 12 the B part second Timothy chapter 1 and verse 12 the B part says for I know whom I have believed everybody say I know whom I have believed now you went to school understand that construction it didn't say I have believed uh -uh. I know whom so it's talking about a person first I had an encounter and that encounter caused me to believe that person and everything that proceeds from him are we together now and then he says and I am persuaded that he that person I've had an encounter with is able 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 an understanding of a man's ability an understanding of God's ability I have had an encounter with him I have had an encounter with his word so when I read and he says they shall lay hands on the sick it's not just story it's not just religion this is the foundation of true Bible faith so there are no options in it again you know that it is within his power to change my situation you don't say well lord i will try you let me hope that you will work today if you don't work no 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 there is a level a level of resilience you see the depth of your encounter determines the strength of your convictions the depth of your encounter determines the strength of your convictions it's obvious from the way we live and act as believers that there is a void there is a lapse in conviction and this is a product of um, the haze that is around our encounters with the Word of God not the reading of it not the memory of it but that there is a gap it is obvious if I look at this gentleman right now and I tell you do you know you are sitting on the ground he's not going to pray about it he knows he's sitting on a seat. Are we together? He's had an encounter with that seat. His, his, even his physical senses have, have responded to that reality. He knows he's sitting. No matter how I try to sway him, he has entered a dimension of resolve. He knows he's sitting on a seat. If I tell him this seat is going to break, he says, no, not just that I, I have seen the dimensions. I understand the strength of this seat. It can take my weight. Listen. God allows you to vet him and probe him until you find him worth your trust. God does not get angry when you ask him questions that lead to your faith being strengthened. Uh -uh. Mary said, how shall these things be seeing that I know not a man? And the angel took out time to explain. This is how it will happen. Gideon said, Lord, you are sending me to go and fight the Midianites. I need to stand with conviction. I know those guys they are fierce and so is it okay if I ask for a sign it is powerful to stay with God until you are convinced I know that there are people here pastors who have come from several places let me challenge you do not make boastful statements until they come from the strength of an encounter it will destroy your life you will destroy your ministry you will lack explanations you will schedule a season of untold suspicion in your life i always say never stand before pharaoh until you have seen the burning bush say encounters bible faith starts with encounters encounters produce convictions convictions now allow you to act and take steps it is that step that is called faith hello believing is not faith believing is part of the process that leads to faith faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction 
of who God is and the integrity of his word that's faith until action is taken there is no faith are we together now I've always given this example um, let me use you John hold on I'm going to stand there stand there just stand there I'm going to call John I want you to answer me but don't come is that all right John come say I'm coming has he come so as far as I'm concerned you have not obeyed me because this should be the reward for your obedience now you have answered that you are coming but you have not come I interpret your not coming as a sign that you you are expressing concern about my reliability you are wondering if I really have this but if I say John come and you come come that step of faith puts pressure on my integrity if I am joking I better found a way of correcting it are we together now yes the Bible tells us in Acts chapter 4 listen the Bible says that one time they were going at the hour of prayer and then the Bible says that they saw a man who was crippled now they were not stupid that man was crippled if you've seen a crippled man you know that there are no strength in his limbs even if he stands you know that he would take the grace of God and then the Bible says that he was calling on them to give him arms and then Peter said silver and gold have I none he said but such as I have listen I give unto you he says in the name of Jesus I come under an authority I represent a government and I invoke the power that backs that government and I ask you if you believe stand the Bible says the man was still looking at them. Now, I hope you know the Holy Ghost was already hovering with all his possibilities, but at the mercy of a man who has not manifested faith. And then the Bible says Peter had to help him. Hold my hands. The Bible says Peter held his hands and he leaping, leaping. The power is released at the point of action. It is the action that makes it faith. Not the determination to act. The determination to act helps you to eventually manifest faith. But the faith is only when action is taken. He leaping stood. He leaping stood. He would have remained there forever. He leaping stood. Are we together now? Yes. So when, when, when you hear the word of God, you see this is why the dispensing of the word of God is so important. Because faith is based on a basis. And the basis is not good word. The basis is not good intention. A nice positive statement cannot give you faith. It does not have the capacity to release that. God is only committed to backing what is his word. Are we together now? If it is not consistent with his character and it is not his word, there is no platform. You may act, but you are not acting upon the word. You are acting upon an information. So the word of God comes. And then you hear that word listen like you are hearing right now and you believe and the Holy Ghost helps your unbelief he supplies to you that grace and that enablement number one to consider that God is able it is within his power to create scenarios around your mind and your spirit that strengthens your conviction he can remind you and say lest you doubt have you forgotten that january this year something was about to happen and all of these anchors together to build your faith because a response will be needed shortly from you and that response must be on its on the standpoint of conviction everybody say conviction how do you look at someone who is barren and tell the person go it takes a while for pregnancy to show and that woman believes it's not when she meets with her husband that she gets pregnant no the husband only gives the word manifestation right and she leaves or you are seeing someone like some of you are sick now and then when it's time to say be healed all of a sudden how do you explain someone having a lump or a growth or a cancer and at the speed a fraction of a second is gone brothers and sisters that's what faith does i want you to believe this the bible says this is the victory this is the system where we believers command victory as an experience by engaging 
their encounters produce persuasion lord you are not a joker lord you believe i i believe you your word is true your word is real you are you are not trying to flatter me you gave jesus christ that would not be a joke on the cross and on the strength of that lord i am willing to act listen the final step is action but not blind action it has to be the action required by god this is where we miss it again are we together confession is a generic action that ought, it is the manifestation of the spirit of faith the bible says we having the same spirit of faith as it is written i believe and therefore i speak so we believe and therefore we speak are we together speaking is a generic action but there are many possibilities we want to produce in our lives that require actions that must be added in addition to speaking for instance the action that is required for your heavens to be open is that you bring before the lord your tithe are we together now no matter how much you confess your heavens opening you must take that action and if you take that action not believing you just dropped money you drop 10 percent of an amount it's not a charm the power is released through understanding i am coming because i have an understanding i have a comprehension of what i am doing and lord i thank you because you are my high priest standing in heaven hebrews 7 and verse 8 the bible says here on earth men gave tithes but in heaven he received them talking about the system with which god performs that function of his office that is in the order of melchizedek right like he received the tithe of abraham and spoke a blessing upon abraham so he our melchizedek our high priest receives that tithe and authorizes that the heavens be open and that the blessing is activated on our lives but that will never happen just by dropping money it's not about the money there is an understanding so your tithing is the specific action that is tied to that open heavens are we together now you pray and fast it is spiritual but it will not replace the action wherewith that result was tied to so it is important that we have understanding to know what action has been defined by god's wisdom that is tied to the outcome we desire are we together one time jesus prayed for someone who was blind and the bible says in this case he spat on the ground and then made sputum out of it and put it in his eyes and said go wash at the pool called Siloam." that is sent now that was the action if that man turned and started praising god and danced there for one day he would never be open he would, the eyes would not be open he was taking action but the action was not the one required are we together now mary understood this and said whatever he tells you to do do not whatever you think he wants to be done so it is important that you find out what is the system of this partnership as far as this is concerned i want multiplication i want increase is it a possibility in god yes it is now i believe it but what is the system tied what does god require that a man do as a symbol of his partnership with him to actualize that dimension of reality we must find out so when we start scripture we are not just trying to know we are finding our place of partnership in scripture when you find it then you rejoice because you have found the key to committing god this that action is what we call faith and the bible says it is the victory that overcomes hmm. the victory that overcomes so what is the key to your healing the bible says they came to hear and to be healed there is no healing when the word does not come for that and when the word of god comes the power of god is present to heal and then the word comes but when the word comes it does not heal you automatically the word comes and somewhere along the line it produces conviction after conviction the word will compel obedience either through an instruction or whatever it is there are conditions for reception when you come for a meeting like this there is a condition to receive number one is to believe in the lord number two is to believe the vessel he will use believing the lord alone will not give you a miracle no sir 
it will always come from God through men to you are we together Jesus went to certain cities and the Bible says he could not do mighty works that was not the limitation of his power it was not the limitation of his spirit but the inaccurate understanding of the people to create an alignment that can afford him to move in the dimension that they desire tonight listen ladies and gentlemen God did not gather us here to waste our time it is within his power to change our lives it is within his power to wipe our tears are we together now seated here tonight are people who truly truly require all kinds of miracles there are people here to resuscitate their spiritual life it's like it's like it's like a man in icu a lot has gone haywire the prayer life spiritual life and you're trusting god that there be a true encounter that refires your love for god you must understand the object of your desire and you must understand the system that helps you achieve that miracle there are people here tonight in response to delay and stagnation nothing seems to work nothing it is a bit comforting if other doors open and others are closed it will inspire you to trust that others but it's a terrible thing when all doors in your life close family closed finances closed your body everything closed there are people here because of an acute state of limitation invisible barriers around your life limitation is not retardation limitation is that a a mark has been created that you cannot cross so you rise and you get to a certain place and there is something that pegs you at that level and you never rise i watch it all the time pastors leaders business people individuals helplessly limited sincere but they are limited tonight the god i serve will take that limit away There are people here with sicknesses, diseases, infirmities, real sicknesses. Probably with death sentences from different medical hospitals. And um, maybe they've told you you have a few months to live. You have a few weeks to live. Now, and of course, we have a lot of doctors here. I respect their opinion. That's their opinion. Is their educated opinion. But tonight whose report will you believe i believe in jesus i believe in his words there are people here with all kinds of marital and family issues husband is about to go wife is about to go children are haywire and they are trusting lord would you give us order of course it is within his power to bring sanity and order i mentioned these things to build your faith to help you know that your situation is within the scope of god's understanding and he can deal with it because sometimes we stay so long in the decadence of our situations that we wonder if god is aware that such a thing can happen to men let me tell you the god we serve is all knowing all knowing and it is within his power to solve that problem tonight there are people here with all kinds of barrenness all kinds biological barrenness and all sorts of unfruitfulness in different areas probably trusting god for children and all of that i came back from abuja um in the course of the week and um when i went there i was i was counseling a few people and then i saw a young lady i think a, a couple or so i can't remember exactly and they were excited the last time i was there the woman the lady had been they'd been trusting god for a child all kinds of funny medical reports you know she had something in her womb her tubes i don't know what what they gave all kinds of stories and there she had given birth you know to a very bouncing healthy a child and she was telling me the news and laughing listen be careful what you believe it is within your power to choose what you believe nothing forces itself on you you can choose this is a wonderful thing this is a fact but i choose to reject it it's a choice 
anything that is not consistent with the counsel of God it is within your power to choose to reject it are we together there are people here under all kinds of academic and career challenges no job no lifting all kinds of strange occurrences that are not consistent with God's desire how about demonic patterns mysterious occurrences in the lives of people patterns that you cannot account for God wants to step in there are people here and I believe this probably affects a lot of people especially with the recession the reality of lack and poverty Lord what is the way out Lord what is the way out I can't keep struggling from hand to mouth we've shared extensively there are all kinds of teachings about the economic system of the kingdom and I would plead that you get those teachings they are free because when it comes to prosperity the gospel has to be taught there is an understanding that must be built in your mind now God can give you breakthrough as a communication of his might and mercy but you are never established financially through breakthrough it will take an understanding to build a system that lifts you out of the realm and the grip of poverty forever say amen, amen. there are people here trusting God for direction you have come confused not knowing what to do you thought you had God but right now you are in the middle of total confusion and God must speak for you I want to welcome you because in his presence there is direction and finally all of these are lists that the spirit of god was just writing out for me as i i mean just stating out as i i i wrote them out and lastly there are people here trusting god for very strong impartations what is an impartation a transference of possibilities transference of possibilities impartation is as real as the chair you're sitting on you can transfer possibilities possibilities also come with the alignment that makes those dimensions of the anointing function freely transference of possibility see the thing with the anointing is if it is there it is there if it is not there it is not there it's as simple as that if you are not sure it is not there it's like a woman who is pregnant for a while she may doubt if she's pregnant or not but the time comes it becomes very clear very obvious regardless of where your request falls in this I want you to know that the God of heaven who has gathered us tonight will visit you and give you testimonies. It's going to be a very quick walk tonight. The Lord is going to be healing the sick. The Lord is going to be setting the captives free. And like I told us last week, it is also an anointing service. And I don't, I don't do anointing services carelessly, but there are instructions that God gave me. The anointing oil that will be used tonight, the Lord asked me, it's been with me since uh, i think yesterday i prayed with it all through until um it was only this morning while i was coming that i carried it and brought it there is a heavy grace oil does not anoint the oil has to be anointed itself by a, a vessel who is anointed nothing is anointed on its own it has to be anointed to become a platform are we together now tonight what is your responsibility be convicted be persuaded that God is able all that has happened before now the prayers the testimonies and all of that is to build your faith some of you are coming here for the first time you've heard about the miracles many of you have a cynical attitude of doubting men of God everybody you see walking in unusual dimensions of the anointing we have joined naysayers around town to think everybody is fake everybody is a devil everybody is using charm you know I humorously said it last week uh, even if you use charm the condition to carry the kind of power you see even through a charm is a condition that you have to think twice people just say it as if you just collect a charm and put it in your pocket no sir God gave gifts to men the gifts are not talents the gifts are people he anointed people by his predetermined counsel so that they can be platforms to be able to communicate his possibilities to people i'm honored every time i have the opportunity to minister there are people streaming from all over the world with different issues several nations at least 47 or so nations of the world if i'm not mistaken connecting and god cannot be joking he's not playing games with us are we together everybody say i believe 
Say, Lord, tonight I believe you. I know you are able and I trust you to step in. In the name of Jesus. It will be for you like day and night. Just all of a sudden, you will find out that that door that has been closed, maybe forever. Listen, it doesn't take time. Time is not in the equation. I've taught you this. Time is never in the equation. The anointing of the Spirit is not a suggestion. The anointing of the Spirit is God's possibility at work in men that causes men to manifest results they were not born with. Are we together now? We are talking about a dimension that is superior to any intelligence of men. This is not some kind of superior science. This is not superior spiritism. We are talking of God showing up in the scene. Standing face to face with a man's barrier. Hallelujah. I want you to be angry tonight. And insist. Thank you. And say Lord that door must be open. I was so touched and blessed during the prayer session. Have you experienced the reality of triumph? I mean there are people here who, whose testimonies have been tearsome. Tonight you can activate something that will make your six to eight hours spent here to be worth the while. That you get up in the morning and within three days, one door opens, another door opens, another dimension of encounter. All of a sudden hunger, all of a sudden you step back to your church and fire on the altar. I mean just by stepping and people are rising up from wheelchairs and miracles, signs and wonders. You bless people, you shake someone's hand, and all through that day, a door opens. You introduce something. I believe it. I believe it. The Lord wants to turn you to literally be supernatural. Supernatural. Not just in this blind talk of supernatural that does not produce results. Literally, that your life becomes a testament. That they would look at you like they did Paul and Barnabas. And they call them Zeus and Hermes. Greek gods. Because they, they discerned that this level of result cannot happen with men. Listen, believe it. Believe it, brothers and sisters. Yokes are breakable. Causes are destroyable. Limitations are breakable. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Sicknesses are healable anointings are impartable there is nothing that you desire don't make it look as though God is mising his power no he is able to stretch his hands and do mighty things but you must believe tonight we love ourselves but everybody is going to have to stand and contend and say Lord I have seen a dimension of your grace but I must step into it Lord I have seen a dimension of breakthrough and favor but it's not yet a reality in my life. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome, you overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be you overcome. The you are the victor's crown. Hold on. You overcome. You know why I started singing that song? I saw a crown. That's why I started singing it. Listen, you see, the way the Spirit of God works is that He reveals the dimension of God that He wants to make manifest in the midst of the people. Are we together now? That's why I raised that song. You need to learn how to partner with the supernatural. He shows you like a luring. This is a dimension. It's up to you to respond. Yeah, Lord, we receive. The spirit and the bride telling the word to come. The word has revealed his intention. So the spirit communicates to the bride. And the bride in partnership with the spirit says, Come, come, Lord Jesus. Come, miracles. Come, breakthroughs. Come, deliverances. Come open doors. Come speed. Come speed. Loose chains. Loose bands. God is a mighty God. Do not allow your situations.
diminish the power of God it doesn't take time the level of grace it takes to produce your results is available mm. it's available I've taught you that there are three dimensions for reception in the spirit number one is through encounters when you have an encounter something is deposited into you number two by obedience to principles there is a dimension of God's power that is deposited in principles whether a believer or a non-believer whoever activates those principles that dimension of his power is released immediately like the power of seed time and harvest is not for Christians a dimension of God's power was encapsulated in that principle but the third dimension of reception is alignment through a man's covenant with God men have covenant with God not only old and new their dealings with God have brought them to a point where God has vowed a vow on their behalf and you can stand upon the platform of their dealings with God and receive realities that your faith level cannot afford every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you will fit us round you overcome you overcome Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You will defeat us around. You overcome. You overcome. Let me tell you something that happened yesterday. I didn't plan to share it, but but something happened. I was sleeping, and I had a dream. I thought it was a dream. Yesterday, now, while I was sleeping, I had a dream. And then because I had kept the jar of oil and I opened the cover and then I had a dream now you know I don't share so much of my encounters because there are all kinds of cynical people and I had the, a dream and then the Lord was telling me you know I should how I'm going to pray on the oil that later on we use to minister to you and then something strange happened I just opened my eyes and there was an angel standing at the door my door now now those those experiences are not strange to me you know but this was very unique he stood there and i looked and oil started coming out of my hand and the lord says i should put my hand on this jar this jar and i tell you i was surprised it would almost be maybe the quarter the size of a cup i just put my hand there and i was just praying in the spirit that was the instruction that god gave me Gave me that instruction that's why i told you oil does not anoint there is an encounter there is an encounter are we together now there is an encounter and when it began to happen i was i was i was well i wasn't surprised but then when everything was done the angel never even said anything just at my door just stood there and was watching and when it was time I noticed of course my hands were still wet but it didn't seem to be flowing and that was it whether he went through the door went up I don't even know how he left and that was the end of it right from the time you know my boys that come to work for me I started sensing that there were going to be visitations of the spirit and I was hurrying up to dismiss them as soon as they left I just locked the door and I sat down and boom my room was full of God's presence and all of that and, and I, I when I sat down my eyes were open and all of a sudden I saw gates gates opening like gates very strange gates opening but then I knew that God by that vision was telling me what among other things would happen in the meeting but most importantly what the anointing would do listen ladies and gentlemen the Lord will bring breakthroughs in your life today that will surprise you you believe that rise up on your feet I want you to lift up your voice and pray one minute and say father I'm set for your visitation my faith is alive and I believe you lift your voice and pray my faith is alive I believe you Jabrandos Kataprakatalados Enkreto Katalabrande Sekataprakatalabadas Jabrete Kataproskodo Brandi Gedibalas Jabrandes Kariada Balada Balada Bosch Lord, we receive. We receive. Hallelujah.
We are going to be very fast. Tonight is a vigil. I know that, in fact, you can't believe how far time has gone. But I trust God for grace tonight. I want to see how God will grant me grace. And I'll be able to come out to all the overflows. All the overflows. One, two, three. By the grace of God. And He will grant us grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Please bring the three people now that the power of God comes. I'm seeing an angel walking and touching three people in here, all inside here now. Will you open up the gate? Yeah. Open up the door. Will you open up the gate? Open up the door. 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 Open I'm going to pray for breakthrough now. Such a strange grace. Strange grace. Strange grace. There are people here who have been tied. It's time to release that grace for breakthrough. And I want you to bring them out. Please don't stop playing. Please, guys. We know she's on. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Right now, at the count of three, let that breakthrough anointing right now begin to touch and change the lives of people. One. Two, three, take that breakthrough now. Take that breakthrough now. Bring them out. Shapatakata. Step into that dimension. Shake it, take it, take it, folks. Right at the back. I see the angels of the Lord bringing people into strange levels of breakthrough. Breakthrough. Shapatos kelataria. Mente kotos shotos e prekete kaya. No limitation in the name of the Lord Jesus. Breakthroughs, breakthroughs, breakthroughs by the power of the Holy Ghost. Breakthroughs. Shapos katala tosia e prekete ketos shakatos setas. Never be the same. Never be the same. Lift your hands. I see a key hanging in the realm of the spirit. This is access. There are men right now. You are entering into dimensions of possibilities. Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. This is a baptism. Keys. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a bunch of keys. Lord Jesus, for your glory, let the closed door open at the count of three. One, two, three. The name that is above all names. Access in the realm of the spirit. I command access right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Access to dimensions, access to levels, access to possibilities. Close doors opening. The Lord showed me gates, and I decree those gates are opening, 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 opening in the name of Jesus. Those gates are opening. No power stands against you tonight. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, 
there is liberty I decree and declare the opening of strange gates the opening of strange gates hallelujah hallelujah we are going to do a quick walk please clear this way for me there are two angels that stand before me now my left and my right and the Lord is asking me to pass round and come I will do that very quickly as I do that the Lord is going to be breaking chains and taking away limitations in the name of Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus miracles 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost supernatural miracles take them out in the name of Jesus miracles in the name of Jesus miracles 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 by the anointing of the Holy Ghost miracles in the name of Jesus supernatural miracles I release you now I release you now I release you now I release you now step into anointings step into graces in the name of Jesus Christ by the Spirit of the Living God there are chains I'm seeing on people's hands chains 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 break it now chains break it now chains break it now get ready this road I see chains 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 let it break now let it break now in the name of Jesus. Let it break now, now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it break now in the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracles, chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking in the name of Jesus. Chains breaking. Chains breaking. Chains breaking, chains breaking, breaking, breaking. Shadow sotosh kalai, rakataka. Let it break now. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands here. I stretch my hands right now. Every chain, in the name of Jesus. This is a miracle service. I command that the chains are broken, 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 broken now, broken now. In the name of Jesus, broken, you can't stand it. That chain breaks now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. 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 The the Holy Ghost. I'm seeing the hand of the Lord, a wind of His Spirit coming here. Lord, what is happening here in the name of Jesus? Shebas kotos kaba embreke to shedele keta brata soto shopres kaya ambrata ya. I'm seeing someone being taken out of a pit, out of a pit, out of a pit. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, out of a pit, I proclaim it. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, and I decree and declare. I decree and declare captivity ended. In the name of Jesus, Meka parato kotosh, leke teka ta prakato zotosh, embre teke teka ratosh. I'm seeing a ring in someone's finger. That demonic ring lives now. That demonic ring lives now. I see it by the Spirit. That demonic ring lives now. I curse it by the God of Heaven. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I see rings rings i curse it by the god of heaven i curse it in the name of jesus can i go out those outside i want you to get ready there is an anointing there is an anointing. The Lord is saying I should stretch my hands here. This media place in the name of Jesus. Barato Shesesika Ekreto Sopraka Maleketo Shekreskaya Ebrekete Ketelekata Shabrakato Skedea. Those here, I want you to lift your hands. No matter where you are, 
no matter where you are, I want you to believe. As soon as I pass here, no matter what the issue is, the hand of God is about to touch you. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, let there be miracles. Now, I pass this rose. Let there be miracles. Every strange spirit. Now, be gone, be gone, be gone now. In the name of Jesus, be gone now. Every strange spirit. The Lord Jesus is in this place. The Lord Jesus is in this place. Kapota kata. I stretch my hands now. Over, 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 over. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Over now. In the name of Jesus. Now, now, now. In the name of Jesus. I stretch my hands. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Stand up. Stand up. In the name of Jesus. Hold the baby. Now, out of her. Jesus Christ, I command that devil, Madam, look at me. The Lord is bringing you breakthrough now. I'm seeing you crying, and the Lord is saying, in your tears. I'm coming to you. I know you are far, but I will come to you. I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus, the anointing is taught some people here. I'm still like chains broken. Chains broken. Let it break right now. In the name of Jesus, out of him. in this young man be gone now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus out now out now out now out now be gone in the name of Jesus be gone in the name of Jesus be gone in the name of Jesus look at me my dear the Lord is saying I should tell you that your sins are over over in the name of Jesus. Over now in the name of Jesus. Say, no matter where you are, no matter how far, I want you to connect by faith. Look at me. Delay over your family ends now. Ends now in the name of Jesus Christ. Clear and declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. There is a spirit in this. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone here. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord standing. There's someone here God wants to. Now. Declare. Where is that person? I cause that spirit now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me come to this tent overflow now. Lift your hands all of you. Lift your hands all of you. Lift your hands. Now. Listen. The Lord is giving me an instruction. All of you are, I don't know what overflow is this. Four now. Three. Overflow. Eight. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Something is going to happen right to the back. I'm seeing fire. One, two, three. Now. Now, now, now. Cause those spirits. I release breakthroughs now. In this overflow. In the name of Jesus. To the back. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. I'm seeing several of you inside pits. Now, now, come now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shabra, no subrach. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is Ezekiel? Ezekiel. I'm hearing a name, Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Hold on, be careful. Please be careful. Ezekiel. Hallelujah. Ezekiel. There is something. God is touching you. The first four rows inside. Inside the main building. First four rows. There's someone right now. The power of God is touching. First four rows inside. Lord, thank you. Let, let that person be touched now. Now, first four rows inside. God is bringing deliverance. Where is Ezekiel? Who is Ibo? You are the Ibo. Come. Where are you from? Huh? Okay. Anambra State. I want to pray for you. You believe that the Lord is going to. I see a lot of witchcraft in your family. And the Lord wants to set you free. Please, those of you outside, I don't, don't think because you are outside, 
came out to show you that God is serious about your case. Don't think because you are standing, it means you are missing. No. Wherever you are, God can locate you. Are we together now? Salome, Salome, who is Salome? Someone outside here, Salome. I'm standing close to you. Salome, come, stand here. In the name of Jesus, I set you free and I set your family free right now. In the name of Jesus, hold on. It's two guys, lift your hands. Two of you. An anointing is coming on two of you now. Lift your hands. These two gentlemen pray. Father, let them take of that anointing now. Drink of that grace. Drink of that fire. Step into a new dimension now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are Salome. In the name of Jesus. Zonkua. Who is from Zonkua here? Zonkua or something. I'm hearing the Lord is asking me. We have a lot to do. We are going to be very fast because we'll soon pray for the sick now. Zonkua. Hallelujah. Please don't, don't make this place rowdy. Where are you from? Hold on. Don't, don't cry. Don't cry. Are you sisters? You are sisters. There is a spirit of death in your family. Come. What, why are you crying? It's well. Things are not going. Everything is scattered. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Two of you. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. One to go. That's the end of it. Lord, I set them free. Help them under the anointing. Please, there is somebody. The spirit of the Lord is ministering to me. I don't know what God is people outside. There is somebody around here. Want to prophesy to the person. Bring the person. That's the person. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm seeing a snake. God. My God. I'm seeing a, not, not this person. I'm seeing a snake. And the Lord is saying, even the lawful captives. That's what the Spirit of God is ministering to me. Please lift your hands, those of you here. Someone has got to be free. I'm Lord, that person right now. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let the hand of God come upon that person right now. That person has to be free. Has to. Has to be free. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Here it is. It's coming now. I see like light coming on someone right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I set you free now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I set you free. I'm ministering to people. Out ah. Is there a name like that? Kauna. Is it Kauna or Kauna? Please move to me fast. Kauna. Who is that? I'm, I'm going to this overflow now. Kauna. Is there someone like that? Please, I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, I receive the breakthrough you are bringing. Lift your voice and begin to speak it. I receive it. I receive it. Oga, come. What do you do? Huh? Where? Do you do business? Why? I want to pray for you because I'm seeing God empowering you in business. Do you have an elder sister? I've seen a lady. This is a lady looking just like you. I'm going to pray for you in the name of Jesus. I took out time because of the massive deliverance that will happen here now. This very room. I'm walking here. Please hear me. There are mothers who what is going to happen to your children is going to come from your standing here now. So please release your faith. I want to pray. I want to pray for you. It ends. It's over now. In the name of Jesus. It's over by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'll walk it to the front and then I'll come down. Jesus. Jesus. I'm going to start from the front there. Please just allow me to do my thing. Let's just do it very fast because we're going to pray for the sick. All these people lying shortly. I'm going to ask all of you to stand up. That anybody on a wheelchair or on a your stand up right now. When I ask you to stand, you will stand up and take away whatever you came with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold on. Um, my God. 
I'm going to pass and there is nothing special about me. It's just a communication, a channel for the Lord to touch you. Come. Um, the man. What is you are holding? The Lord is saying, what are you looking for? You are looking for a job. Huh? And the Lord is saying, I should release a job to your life. You believe that? Receive your job now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. Father, I pray, Spirit of the living God, that you will blow upon this place. As I pass this place, let no yoke, let no chain stand. In the name of Jesus. Them now. In the name of Jesus, I bring you life by the power of the Spirit. The life of the life of God by the power of the Spirit. Lease life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every darkness leaves. Every trace of darkness leaves. Leaves, 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 leaves now. Leaves now. Now, now. Leaves now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every trace of darkness must go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It must go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. It must go now. It must go now. Someone with pile is being healed now. Somewhere here. Someone with pile is being healed now. Someone with pile, you're going to feel like fire going through your body. We'll pray for the sick shortly. Be healed now. Fire is on your head. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a yoke of delay here. This row. Somebody, somebody has to be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let that delay be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. It's to a new level. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is renewing. 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 I hear renewal. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm standing in this row because the angel of the Lord is standing here. And he wants to touch somebody right now. In the name of Jesus, let it be over. Let it be over by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now. Please help them, my God. Let it be over. 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 My sister, you are praying and I'm hearing your prayer. Come. You are telling the Lord to visit you. I'm hearing your prayers in my ears and the Lord is saying I should, that he should give you a visitation. Who is this? My children. This is your husband? Yes, sir. Where is he? He's in Berlin. I want to pray for you. I don't like what I see. Right? The Lord is going to set them free because I've seen everything is tied down for this family. Nothing is working. Yes, sir. Is that true? The Lord is going to step in now. Edo State. Edo State. I'm from Edo State. But the Spirit of God is showing me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm pray for you. This. Father, let there be a miracle right now. I end it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I end it right now in the name of Jesus Christ my God now see this thing the Lord shows me all the time please everybody lift your hands inside or outside lift your hands now I'm seeing a map I don't know why God always shows me this I'm seeing a map and the spirit of the Lord through that map is taking me to Benway State now everyone from Benway State get ready the anointing of God comes upon you now Benway State Benway State the Lord is setting people free. Benway State right now. Shekratos, Kalatos. Inside and outside. Benway State. Benway State. Inside, outside. Benway State. I see breakthroughs coming. Benway State. Anointings. Mata Lakota. It's a sign and a wonder that the Lord does. Where he locates people by states. Locates people by states. I'm praying now. If you're in Benway State, this unction is on you. The work is on you inside. My God, I'm seeing people inside, inside the main auditorium. Breakthroughs, breakthroughs, breakthroughs. I'm hearing or to go or to go. 
breakthroughs, strange breakthroughs, strange breakthroughs, or to go Jakato Sekete, Egreto Shala Mariata, Embrakato Jataya La Cosata. Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There are miracles in the name of Jesus. There are breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Jacob. Jacob. Jacob, you are, I'm standing close to you. And your name is Jacob. Lift your hands. It's over now. Forever. Over. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the, there's somebody praying in this room. The power of God is coming on him now. Someone is praying a prayer. In the name of Jesus. You are stepping into a level. The spirit of wisdom is coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is it Asabe? Asabe. I'm hearing the name Asabe. Quickly, I want to see how God will grant us grace this evening. There are so many sick people we have to pray for. Asabe. Is it Asabe? I'm hearing Asabe. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me, my dear. Look at my eyes. My eyes. Look at my eyes. Break every chain. Break every chain. Visit her family, oh God, once and for all. Let this be the season. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is from Enugu State? Enugu State. Hold on, hold on. Please don't fight yourselves. Madam, where are you from? I'm from Enugu. Enugu State. I'm going to pray for you. Choma. What? Choma. 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 I'm hearing a name Choma. We're going to pray. Choma. You are inside. The Choma I'm talking about at the main auditorium. Choma, where are you? Give Jesus praise. I'm going to pray for you. Your name is Choma. What's your name? Choma. Your name is Choma. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is set family free right now because this is one of your prayer requests. I'm looking at your prayer request in a vision. What did you say the Lord should? I'm seeing your prayer request on top of you and I'm seeing that you're writing that God should bring breakthrough for your family. He will. He will. He will. We're talking about the spirit of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, let it be over. My brother, stand up. Look at me. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus. Look at me. You love Jesus? I'm seeing your legs tied and I'm seeing snake of your legs down to your head. Your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ is where this will start from. Be free now. Out! In the name of Jesus, help him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where did you come from, my dear? You are from Isuka. In the name of Jesus Christ, hold my hands. Let it be over now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let it be over now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing that map again. The Lord shows me Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna now. The power of God is looking to Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna inside and outside. You're from Southern Kaduna. I'm seeing the map of Kaduna State. And the Lord is touching people from that state right now. There are several people inside, ushers, different people. The Lord is touching people, sound and Kaduna. Miracles, miracles. I'm seeing like a, a, the cover, the cover of a well being opened. In the name of Jesus, let it be by the Spirit of the Living God. By the Spirit of the Living God. By the Spirit of the Living God. Let it end now. I stretch my hands to you. Let it end. Captivity must end. In the name of Jesus Christ. Captivity must end now. Captivity must end. Captivity must end. Shada sete karotash. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing Italy, Italy, a country, Italy. Who has a relative in Italy? You come. There is power. Please quickly. Who do you have in Italy? My other sister. Where is she? She's in Italy. Have you heard from her? No, it has been long. There's a, there's a problem. I'm seeing that lady is in a serious problem. She needs a miracle. Did we discuss this with you? Yes, yeah, she discussed it with my mom. I'm saying, did I discuss it with you? No, sir. She's in Italy. There is a serious problem. Huh? I'm seeing deportation. We have to pray for her. There is a serious issue. Not only deportation, but she's about to get into trouble. The Lord brings this thing so that he will set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's what I was waiting for. In Jesus' name. There's somebody in front among the people lying down there. Um, I'm seeing the Lord touching their family. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle. Those of you coming for the first time, this is what happens in the miracle service. Is is these are not just miracles, they are called signs and wonders, they are operations of the spirit. You can see me call a state, and everybody on that, that state is under the influence of the spirit. It's not some magic, these are operations, these are superior dimensions of the operation of the spirit of the living God. I want to pray for the lady in Italy in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be a miracle right now. A miracle right now. Something is leaving you, even you who is standing. This has caused delay in your life. The Lord is about to give you speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural speed. The Lord ends captivity in your life. Let it end now. Captivity is ending by the Spirit and the power of God. Captivity is ending. Hallelujah. There is somebody inside here. I'm seeing a vision. You are a you are a professional footballer. Come out. Something has tied you down. It's time for you to move up. Who is that? You are a footballer. That's why you came here. Who is that? Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Lord oh, Jesus, we honor you. Leave her. I want to pray for her. Something is happening. That's why I'm standing. Look at me. Lord Jesus, let this oppression over her family end. In the name of Jesus Christ. The same thing happening to her is happening to someone right at the back. In the name of Jesus. You play football? Oh, this is your brother. From where? Somebody cheated you. We have to pray for you. Huh? Where do you want to travel to? I want to go to Europe. Huh? Europe. But you know that God has to take you to a clean way. Huh? If you want to smuggle your way and go to Europe. The devil would go and hijack your life and destroy you and they will throw you back. Do you understand? Because I see God lifting you in this career. The Lord is taking you very, very far. You believe that? Hold my hands. Lord Jesus, I bring him into this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be for you. You see, prophecy does not just reveal. Prophecy creates. We make things that have no business happening to happen. Are we together now? In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that the road is clear for you now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Seven months pregnant. There's a woman I need to pray for. Seven months pregnant. Seven months pregnant. Come. You are pregnant. How many months? Seven months. The Lord is telling me to take away CS. Hold my hands. Jesus. When are you due? Next month. September. You are due September. 
When? Do you know? You don't know. Anything from September 19th, get ready. Huh? In the name of Jesus, I hold you and I declare, I stop CS now by the power of the Holy Spirit. There is a problem with this baby, as I'm seeing. Is that true? Yes. I told you. Yes. This baby is not lying correctly and it's affecting you. If we don't pray, something will happen and you give birth to a dead baby. We correct it now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you. I bring the life of Christ to you. In the name of Jesus, you will give birth normally by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for the sick now, but uh, who is this? You are pregnant. How many months? Seven months. Yes, sir. Have you gone to the hospital? Where is your husband? He's at home, sir. Husbands, husbands. They send their wives and stay back at home. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Put your hand on your stomach. God is going to give you a dream about the name of this child. Receive grace to name the child exactly what you see. Huh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let it be. In the name of Jesus, let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it be by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We'll soon pray for the sick, but I want to do something. Look at me. This lady. Out of her now. I release the life of Jesus Christ and I curse the works of darkness in the name of Jesus Christ 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 I'm seeing fire it's like it's looking for someone in this room this is something that has to do with someone's family in the name of Jesus Christ just this room because I'm seeing the Lord is revealing to me in the name of Jesus thank you father the power of God will come upon whoever that person is and that will end it right now end it right now family God is touching the families in the name of Jesus it is not by power it's not by might it's by the Spirit of God it's not by power in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me someone's prayer request. Prayer point number one. Let my sister have a child. Who is that? Prayer point number one. You are wearing red. Break every chain. Break every chain. I hope you are not telling lies. What was your first prayer request? Let my sister and my brother have a baby. Where are they? They are in their various places. Your sister, how long has she been married? going to three years did she have a child before no but my brother has did she take in before no this person is wearing red i will pray for you but i'm seeing somebody wearing red this is the person in the vision the lord is showing me who is that this is the person i saw but i will pray with you listen i want you to believe that no barren person there is no need to go back without a child it's, it's, there is not necessary hold on I'm not just praying for barren people at random but just let them come since they're here we'll pray for people we're about to pray for people now we we'll take our time to minister the anointing is there you see that even the vigils sometimes you close your eyes and it's already morning praise the Lord my friend you love Jesus Kai. Please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now. I'm seeing you standing and I want to pray. I know I always pray, but this guy smokes. Uh, um, what they call that thing. But I know people smoke all kinds of things. But this guy, your own is acute. You are here. But truthfully speaking, you cannot help. You can take as much of that thing till it destroys you. I'm even seeing... That you have some i don't know whether it's at home please who is that don't be embarrassed the lord wants to set you free if you sit down that's your that's that's for you. whether you are inside outside make your way don't be ashamed just come out here i want to pray for you now 
My dear, I want you to call. Where are they? Who, who are you standing in for? Ladi Abuti. Huh? Ladi Abuti. You? No, You're the, my sister. Your sister. Okay, I want to pray. The person I'm talking about, please summon the courage to stand here. I want to pray for you. I want you to call her after this meeting and tell her to get ready. God is going to give her a baby boy. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you because your power is available to set the captives free. I decree and declare. Let it be right now. Establish it in Jesus' name. It's over now. You are the one who came. Come. We have to pray. Your brother, you said they are barren. I'm not seeing your brother barren. He, ha he has two children. How, how many two children? Hold on, let me talk to you. How many children? The first one was a miscarriage. Miscarriage? How many children are there now? The second one died like two weeks after. I'm seeing two children that is not a miscarriage. They were born, but they died. Two, two children. Now it's, there's no child at all. The one they had died like weeks or so. How many weeks? Two weeks, two weeks after birth. One and one day. And he just died. We have to pray. You understand? You, you're standing in for them and you believe God will help them. We have to pray. As you're praying for them, it will never be part of your life. You have no business with that thing. Somebody needs to come out. This wee wee thing. Who is the person? Let's celebrate him. Don't, don't feel bad. Hallelujah. He's your friend. He's your brother. He smokes this thing. He smokes... Uh, Huh? Do you love Jesus? You love Jesus? Yes, sir. I have to pray for him. My friend, how are you? Can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you. I have to pray for him. You see, the same thing the anointing, when you smoke this thing and when you are under the influence of the anointing, it's exactly what happens when you smoke these leaves, you see. Those leaves. There is a lady come and join him i'm seeing a lady don't be embarrassed please jesus is setting you free there is a lady you can't help yourself this is not the issue of being good or bad please run boldly and come if you waste our time you just sit where you are one lady there is a lady this thing has destroyed it's not like you like it but you can't help it it comes upon you like an anointing and you have to come my dear let's pray we have to pray for the sick now in the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. I terminate the yoke of barrenness right now. Sister and brother, in the name of Jesus, they take in now. You're here for the same reason? You're here for the same reason? In the name of Jesus. You're standing for yourself? Your sister. If I ask for people who, have, who want children, except you are standing for somebody, if you are standing for yourself, make sure you, are, you have a husband or a wife. Praise God. We, we are Bible believers, but we are not stupid people. Make sure you are married officially. Because I know that there are people who just live together. Um, you, don't, you don't love God and then we have to stay. Of course, God is merciful. The Spirit of God is not letting me rest over the lady that we are going to pray for. In the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. We are a family. Nobody looks down and embarrasses. There is no condemnation here whatsoever. We are here to help. We are here to show you the mercies of God. Hold my hands, my dear. This is a lady? Ah, no, this is not how. The person I'm talking about is here in this venue. You are here. You are not asleep. You are awake. You are hearing what I'm saying. This lady is... You understand? Barrenness. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch them. In the name of Jesus, touch them. Hold on. Don't worry. We are going to pray for the sick. Who is this? Why are you here, madam? Please just be patient. Why is she here? If it's not the case I mentioned, um, can I pray for you, my friend? You are the one who brought him. Where is he from? He's, he's from, staring he's at from me. Benway State, sir. Eh? He's from Benway State. He's from Benway State. See how the guy yes, is staring sir. at me? If he has his way, he can eat and swallow me as if it's easy. Between you and me, it's a long distance. It's not what you are saying. <laughs> 
a very long distance. Stretch your hands and let's pray for this guy. He's a nice person. This, this is what we, we and Co. can do. Let's pray. Let's pray. My friend, don't worry. We are praying for you. Eh? It's not just you. Stretch your hands, saints of God. You are anointed. Let's pray for him. Lord, help this gentleman. Please, I still insist, this lady, if God grants you grace, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. We love you. And in the name of Jesus, we pray for you sincerely. By the compassion of the Christ, we pray for you that the power of this, this substance abuse is broken in your life. In the name of Jesus. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. 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 I have to talk to that person quickly and then we will pray for the sick. You can't imagine how the time is gone. We are still going to anoint. It's already morning. Rebecca. Is there anyone? Huh? My sister. Your sister. I'll pray for you, but what's your name? What's your name? Rebecca. My dear, come. Who is this? Rebecca. The lady that smokes is in. This thing has depressed this lady and changed her. That's why I want to pray for you. What's your name? Rukaya. 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 Come. I love you. Eh? Come, you're a darling. We're not, we're not here to make you feel bad at all. Listen, let me tell you something. Huh? One of the keys to walking in the anointing is love. You don't love people, you will never walk in authentic power. When God reveals to you things about people's lives, it's not because you are better than them. Are we together now? The goal of this revelation is to extend the hand of God's love. This is a wonderful lady. You can see very lovely, beautiful lady that the devil wants to destroy. So every time words come like this or when we pray for people, this is a family of faith where everybody is a product of God's mercy and grace. Are we together, darling? I, I know that you may not like some of them. It may not even be bad friends. They just got into all of these things. And let me tell you, maturity does not deliver people from spirits you can be growing older and still remain you believe the lord jesus will help you hmm? you've tried to stop this thing abby yes and you'll try and it won't work yes problems keep coming up that i just can't stop what do you take i smoke i take drugs i drink you drink yes Please stretch your hands over this lady. Pray as if you are praying for your own daughter. Pray as if you are praying for your own child. Lord, have mercy on this dear lady. We refuse to leave her to the devil. We love her. Pray, some of you are looking at me. Pray with all your heart. Lord, help this lady. Usually people take these things as a result of depression, all kinds of challenges. Their lack of understanding the word of God, their lack of encounter with the word of God is what produces this kind of devilish effect. Hallelujah. Look at me, my dear. You are my friend, eh? Don't cry. You are my friend from today. God will help you, eh? Say amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, eh? Pastor Alpha, please, eh? You will follow this lady. Just help her to stand strong. Some of these ladies... It's just a combination of loneliness and then they meet all kinds of bad people. By the way, when, when it's time to do the final prayer, we're going to pray against these bad people around our community whose lives is to frustrate and destroy people. There are many ladies here you want to love God and, and live for Him. But there are all these boys around that make it look like serving God is a waste of time. And they keep distracting you and before you know it in the name of love in the name of relationship and, and in the name of wanting to marry you they derail you from the path of God anybody who must make you leave God to marry you is not an irresponsible person that prayer has already been answered the answer is no leave the person quickly don't say I'm waiting on God 
God is not a fool. Are we together? So go and meet Pastor Alpha. He will help you. Eh? He will collect your details and your Rebecca, all of you, three of you. I cannot even remember why I asked you to come out, but let me pray for you. You are standing in for your sister. You love Jesus. Friends, eh? You love Jesus, but be careful so that um, you know your company matters as much as your work with God. The Lord will help you. Huh? In Jesus' name. Over now in your life. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is setting her free. I'm seeing something leaving her. In the name of Jesus. Lord, let her be free from it. That devil of darkness lets you go. Rebecca, the Lord is bringing you liberty in the name of Jesus. It's over now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I have to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, this favor is lifted from your life forever. In Jesus' name. Two of you are Rebecca. Your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I agree with you. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you. Now, what's that a song? Gashina, Gamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yanada. Gamuna, Gashina, Gashina, Gamuna. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray on this now. You can imagine it's to five. Stretch your hands here. Let's pray. God is a miracle worker. The testimonies here is a revelation that God gave us and an instruction and my God what a joy to life stretch your hands in the name of Jesus Christ Jabratos Sarabakuriatakatash go and tell Pharaoh go and tell poverty let my people go go and tell delay and hardship go and tell yokes and spells that have held the destinies of men for generation announce to them go and tell them let my people i acknowledge they are my people pray there is a reason why you are praying zubre te kaparatosh kalabrande geba se prahasayada ledesh kaprandes kaprotos zubre dige balatia let my people go. Let my people go. Sabros kabariende ko shalabai. Let my people go. Sabros kato rishabariende kapras kalabadia. Libro zoso preti ge shabratis kalabaria takuria sambradi shila. Exodus chapter 10, verse 7. 10, verse 7, we are reading down to 10. Please hurry up, media, help us. And Pharaoh's servant said unto him, How long shall this man be a snare unto you? Let the men go, that they may do what? This is the reason why they have to go. There is a motif for liberty. There is a motif for prosperity. There is a motif for advancement. He said, let my people go that they may go and keep it there, please. And serve the Lord their God. Then he says, knowest thou not that Egypt is destroyed? Read on. Next verse. 8. And Moses said unto, and Moses and Aaron were brought again to Pharaoh. And he said unto them, go, serve the Lord your God. But then he began to negotiate. He said, but who are they that shall go finally i have been persuaded but let's begin to talk who are those who will go verse 10 okay verse 9 leave it there and moses said 
we will go with our young come on our future and we will go with our old there must be restoration certain things that should have happened it says and with our sons and with our daughters and with our flocks and with our herd he said for we must hold a feast we are not going like fugitives we need to go triumphantly are we together now verse 10 and he said unto them let the lord be so with you as i will let you go and your little ones look to it he says for evil is before you when you read on he began to negotiate he said let's allow the men go but leave the women moses said no way everything is going listen when god saves he saves to the uttermost he will not bring health and leave finances are we together now many believers have an attitude of negotiating with darkness let me tell you something when you mount pressure on satan he will release something small and let you go and then we get carried away out of 10 people in your family only one person now has a breakthrough and you are still satisfied moses said no we are going with our old we are going with our young you release my job but my health is still there they must all go it's the same command that affects everything are we together i came here angry tonight in my spirit oh. it's not as if some of us have not received breakthrough but the devil has deceived us with miracles so that you can no longer turn back and see that there are other things that have refused to move so he gave you a job and little did you know that the child has not come and time is running if god gave you a job can't he give you a child tonight is a night of dogged insistence everything if you release one every other thing must follow you can't release my brother's salvation and keep my father's own this night everything must go are you hearing what i'm saying please pay attention he says let my people go i don't just need them to serve me but a feast before me a feast is a sign of victory in ancient times when they won war they would gather the women and the young children and the victorious men would come with the head of the king or drag him together and they would sing blowing the shofar it's called triumph it was an and then all the spoils that they had gotten from the land they would bring it and as they began to dance the bible says in the multitude in the midst of multitude is the king's honor so they will gather slaves that came from that nation and they will come and like bow down to the king to show that we are yours now he said let my people go you can never truly serve the lord until you are released to go i want the people to serve me but as it is there are situations in their lives that cannot allow them serve me are we together yeah so they say you have a medical condition you can't pray for 15 minutes you lift your voice something hooks you that's a pharaoh holding you you can't pray there's nothing you can do I've said it again you see people go to pray and the moment they they stand to pray the next thing they stop praying and they are moving around because of worry because of worry they cannot pray financial worries health worries are we together now we prayed for a woman in Lagos during a program who had been pregnant for two years how many years two years every sign of pregnancy but the machine shows that she's perfectly fine her stomach is flat according to the machine is that a medical condition no sir life is spiritual remember spiritual intelligence life is what this pharaoh we are talking about is not just a man pharaoh is a spirit he uses men just like jezebel pharaoh is not a man the man pharaoh died the spirit pharaoh is still alive and there are many people under the bondage of pharaoh but not tonight not tonight the mighty god of israel 
will arise with an outstretched arm i i told you what the lord told me here while i was praying he said trust me and watch your situation turn around it doesn't take time it only takes faith when you trust god he will prove himself in a way that will surprise you tell my people please sit down as always you have a role to play everyone listen to me the role you have to play is your commitment to serving god listen 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 deliverance is not for you to leave egypt and live your life your own way at your own times no sir he said let my people go that they may go and serve me listen write this down service is the greatest way to provoke judgment over darkness service thank god for prayer thank god for fasting next week we are going to start another powerful i will be sharing with you a very deep kingdom mystery next week service is the greatest way to provoke judgment the moment there was a willingness in the heart of the nation of israel to serve god listen god will not step in and break poverty in your life just because you are an adult it's too small a reason to see the hand of god this is where many christians authorize satan to destroy their lives are we together now come you are in bondage and you want liberty this is your place of destiny this is where you are egypt and the lord is saying there is a condition there is a state of heart you don't have the power to deliver yourself but you have the will to say lord i am committed to serving you but poverty is stopping me from buying books i want to buy the books are we together i can't pray because the rent is expired the landlord is not a spirit he's alive he's a real person he's coming tomorrow and god says you mean you want me to clear the way for you to serve me god says that's the kind of prayer that i like i say now the challenge with many believers hear me and this is where we strengthen satan listen carefully tonight our unwillingness to live for god and to serve him are we together versus his outstretched hand and his power to deliver us god wants to deliver us but the justification the basis upon which his hand will come upon us many of us disqualify ourselves because our motive for deliverance is not genuine there is only one motive one let my people go that they may do what go and serve me serve me they may go and serve me this has nothing to do with being a man of god please listen this has nothing to do with being a pastor this has nothing to do with being a pastor's wife serving god is the lifetime assignment of everyone what you call your job or any avenue is just a doorway let me tell you brothers and sisters he says i shall not die but why will i live but live and declare live and proclaim the justification for being alive and being victorious is a heart and a life that is committed to promoting the kingdom you are representing him and advancing the frontiers of his kingdom there is no devil strong enough to take your life it says many are the afflictions of the righteous the bible says but the lord delivered him from them how many affliction is not unusual are we together jesus himself said let us go to the other side and he met a storm meeting a storm is not a sign that you that um you are not a christian jesus met a storm on the all-knowing god said let's go to the other side between prophecy and manifestation he met a storm so meeting a storm in your life is not the issue the storm overcoming you and making rubbish and nonsense out of your life is where your victory becomes questionable there are many of us here right now with all kinds of storms standing before you dead sentences given by doctors some of you are holding it 
are wondering can god change it there are many of us in situations that only god in heaven you can't even share it with human beings because they do not have the faith to believe a man can be going through this and still be alive but there is a god in heaven brothers and sisters you are gathered tonight before that god in heaven there are men who are held in bondage god has anointed and called them but the doors of ministry will never open you know why because many of them don't want to serve god doing ministry is not serving god no sir make no mistakes about it you're a man of god here pay close attention let me show you why you keep getting disappointment in ministry you can be anointed praying in tongues raising the dead all that is stories if your heart is not committed to serving the purposes of the kingdom forget about all of these things most people want power when you see a man of god walking in the anointing when you see crowds when you see all kinds of results happening in the life of a man and a ministry many people admire it. they want it you see god has no problem giving it but your motif your motif your motif oh god give me twins god says even if you want 10 i can give you what is your motive let me tell you something this issue of committal to serve god this committal to follow and pursue hard after god is a big secret a big secret the justification behind the stagnancy of many people and the motivation behind them leaving that place to another realm let my people go oh lord change my financial status god says i can it is within my power but what for and he said god i'm just tired of poverty god says that's not enough reason that's if i give you too much money with no assignment it will kill you it will destroy you the bible says the prosperity of fools will destroy them lord give me a crowd of thousands of people make me a man of influence lord let people love me let me just be a celebrity and god says it's all within my power justify your reason and he says lord i came from a background of inferiority god says so what that's not a reason for me to trust you with influence and grace but when a man's heart becomes resolute lord grant me finances so that one day i will override the building of your house god says you want to do this for me and then you quote his scripture back for the sake of thy house i desire thy prosperity and god says that's it you've satisfied the condition to see my hand lord heal my body i want to serve in your house but the department i want to join requires energy and lord i have found out that i have a medical condition that cannot allow me carry chairs and god says who gave you that condition the moment anything stands between you and serving god it has become god's enemy is god's own fight let me tell you how to join god and satan you service let your problem follow you to the altar of service and stand back and god says whatever stands in the way of any man serving me has become my enemy including a man are we together now when he when 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 the captain of the host of israel appeared before joshua he said are you for us or against you he said all that is nonsense whoever is on god's side is the person i'm for if you are against god i strike you if you are for god we are a team god is not a christian god is on the side of whoever has the heart to glorify the father and to see his kingdom come and his purposes established that you're a christian is no guarantee that you will get the partnership of god your heart is god preaching to someone tonight lord i want you to launch me far i want you to change my life you have said it's the year of triumph and god says it's not a lie brother there is more anointing and unction than you have ever dreamt to walk in leave all these kindergarten visions here and there there are superior dimensions but your motive you, you pray for 40 days but your motive corrupts it from day one and god says come to a point where your heart is committed to serving me and i will not release do you know my 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 project with god is to come to a point where god is not afraid of doing anything with me or committing anything to me 
I want to get to that level of trust with God where whether the virtues are with him or with me it makes no difference because it's all his own come on now whether that anointing is in the throne room or walking through my life it makes no difference because it is for his glory tonight hear me it is God's desire to heal you it doesn't take rocket science but now when you become free and energetic what do you do with that strength that's the question God is asking Lord I used to sing well but then I had an infection that destroyed my voice and God says but I've never seen you commit yourself to singing in my house and lifting up my name and now you want me to clear that throat condition so that you go back and the devil will use your voice for nonsense and God says no way you can cry you can roll on the floor if your motif is not intact forget about the experience of the power of God are we together now say Lord say it everybody Lord I declare that as you bless me as you heal me as you deliver me I vow to serve you with my life I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turning back I have decided to follow Jesus no turning back no turn take my hand cross before me the world behind me no turning back no turning back the cross before me the world behind me no turning back no turning back forsake me still I will follow no turning back hey, no turning back don't man forsake me still I will follow no turning back no turning back come on sing it before him I have decided to follow Jesus No turning back, no turning back hey, I have decided to follow Jesus No turning back, no turning back He's a costly assumption to assume tonight that everybody wants to follow Jesus he said I've, I've discovered that there are people who genuinely are not interested in following God I'm not talking of self perfection I'm talking of a sincere committal to following Jesus genuinely with your life no way there are many parasites of Jesus financial parasites of Jesus there are parasites of kingdom principles they want to use kingdom principles and mysteries as a ladder to become famous sir it doesn't work that way oh. please hear me tonight there are people every time you hear a man of God talk about passion for Jesus you think they are talking about ordination to ministry no sir is an addiction to see his kingdom come for God's sake what else will I be doing with my life if not lifting up his name Jesus I lift up your name Jesus I lift up your name that's what I do for a living Jesus I lift up your name Lift your voice and say, I 
lift up your name. If God cannot find his purposes fulfilled through your life, I tell you, forget about the outstretched hand of God. You hear me say this, don't let any man fool you. God is not a herbalist. My brother, is your heart God is looking for. Not tight, not offering. Your heart, not music, not just energy. My son, give me your heart. Give me your heart. Give me your heart. I want your heart. When we talk about Jesus Christ, many people frown their face as if you are speaking against civilization. The things that will come, please hear me, people of God. The things that will come will require outspoken radical passion for Jesus. All this organized civilized nonsense that makes God look secondary will be the recipe for the dominion of darkness over the life of people. Oh, I'm now 25 years. Don't, don't make me look like a child. I'm now 30 years. I hope you know I'm now the director of A and B and C nonsense. And that's the reason why you are. David danced before God. And his wife said, Habba king. And keep your dignity. And David looked at her and said, hold on. You don't even know the mystery of how you became my wife. If you know it, you will join me dancing. I was a little boy with no hope, no destiny. Didn't read any book. I was a smelly shepherd in the wilderness. I danced my way beyond any king to get to the throne. And now because I am here, you carry your dignity. The Bible says God had him all. And that woman died barren. It was not the devil that made her barren. Let my people go. Not that they may go around causing trouble and wasting time and just counting age and growing older. Let my people go that they may go and serve me. This issue of living for Jesus, serving Jesus, no, let, let's even accepting him into your heart. There are many people when you talk about genuine surrender, not coming out to recite an altar call. I make up my mind I am for Jesus forever they laugh at you they laugh at you because it doesn't make sense to them they don't see the need why should I give my life to Jesus I want to be the God of my own self so you manage your life by yourself I want to be the God of my own self so you answer your prayer by yourself I want to be the God of my own self so you mismanage your life by yourself. It says, submit down to the mighty hand of God. Then resist the devil and he will flee. You know, I sincerely see a lot of people, great men and women of God who want to walk in the anointing and I see the way they play games with submitting to the authority of Christ. You will never be trusted with certain dimensions of the anointing until God vets your passion. You can't fake it. There is a level of kingdom influence and power. No, it go to a herbalist, you will still not get that dimension. It takes your heart dead to Christ, not just living. This one, you have died to the purposes of the kingdom. Otherwise, you cannot carry certain levels of grace. No. The kingdom has rules. You, you can fake it with men, but not with God. There is a dimension, brothers and sisters, where God vets your heart and sees that Pastor Femi will live and die for me. I'm not, it's not one leg in today and God is not sure of what you will become in 2019. No. Nina <laughs>
sit down listen to me everyone inside outside the overflows along the road listen i want to make a serious altar call now everybody sit down and listen carefully let me tell you something brothers and sisters coming to surrender your heart to jesus is not an initiation into a religion called christianity now are we together now where you are switching founders from an idol worshiper you were worshiping stone are we together and now you say guys stone is not a better alternative so i come to another founder there are not ten gods there is one god hear ye O israel the lord our god is one god i don't care who preaches what there is only one god the king eternal we can argue it but one day very soon the difference will be made clear there are people seated here listening to me i don't condemn you but brothers and sisters it's time to be serious with god shortly you're going to experience radical deliverances and healings and miracles but that is only useful when your heart is with god i don't care whether you have been a pastor for 10 years there are two altar calls i'm going to make in one right now please hear me carefully those following us online from any nation you're following just listen carefully you may not be able to run out but i want you to pay attention and participate number one there are people for you you have never made a genuine decision you have heard that people repent you have heard that people come to jesus you have even given them transport money but genuinely from your heart my father is a pastor that's not what i'm saying i grew up in a church you are joking you have to come genuinely we gave our lives to christ it's not an inheritance of a family you come personally the other day they blessed all of us together you are not born again it has to be genuine personal and conscious when i was a baby they baptized me come and join them as soon as i made that altar call you come and join them are we together number two there are those who the war of passion and seriousness with god there is this fear of getting serious with god for some reason you think if i get serious with god my, i won't make it in life the moment i'm serious with god i won't get a nice husband uh, men these days don't like serious ladies who, who lie to you which men which one are you talking about the drunk are there the smoke are there or a genuine holy ghost born again visionary brother if i'm serious with god when it's time to chop in the office my conscience will not allow me chop that's a joke is it that god cannot bless you must you bribe to rise that's how everybody is doing it you are lying that's not how every that's how you know or you have been taught that everybody is doing it elijah said i'm the only one god said keep quiet there are seven thousand others who have not bowed to bear please hear me there are people here god wants to visit your family but there is no one in your family who is born again and you will be the first tonight because god needs an access point to your family the system of the kingdom is such that god must find a portal within a territory to manifest his purposes within that territory if and when god does not find a man his power is still limited there must be an individual through sacrifice and alignment who will be able to host the purposes of the kingdom within a sphere to allow the possibilities of god find expression so if god wants to come to your family he moves everywhere and everybody says i'm, I'm, I'm too busy he comes to your mother she says i'm too busy looking for money he comes to your father i'm too confused to give my life to you comes to your brother no I'm, I'm too i'm too i want to marry now god please go somewhere he comes to your sister i'm looking for men there's no time to look for god and god says i want to step into this family no one has given me space if god can find one person he, he needs to take it step by step when he finds you the prophetic implication of your relationship starts judging the powers of darkness one by one and before you know it someone starts having a strange dream in your family he lies down and he has a dream of rapture 
he won't share it but that dream will torture him till he thinks about it he will get up alone and you'll find out from the first time he didn't steal money again he saw angels he saw the white throne he doesn't need to know what it is his spirit has been designed to recognize spiritual things but tonight you must come genuinely to jesus don't come out here if you are playing games it has let me tell you the implication of coming out here you must be ready to scatter and destroy wrong dangerous and ungodly relationships by the grace and the spirit of god you just need the will the grace is what you receive here number two you must be ready and willing to be committed to the house of god to grow this dilly darling with god is the recipe for failure i'm too young to reject god the fierceness of life will destroy me if at my level in life i claim i'm too big for god before we continue tonight i'm going to count one to ten listen everyone heard me loud and clear overflow outside overflow along the road as i'm speaking to you the holy ghost is probing you those of you standing on the fence there i see you and the lord is speaking to you online probably you are listening now or following from another nation of the world and you are saying but i'm far distance is no barrier it doesn't matter you are still on earth everyone on earth will be judged whether you are in london whether you are wherever i'm going to make this altar call now I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come to Jesus. I know you will be healed, young and old. I don't care how long you have been. You are saying, Lord, I'm tired of living my life the way I want. I want to hand it genuinely. Inside, outside, start running. One to ten. One. Genuinely run like there's fire on the mountain. Two. Mina Yesu ne bazanko bazanko Coming. don't say there's no space even if you have to line up outside no problem this is your salvation with God greater than any miracle tonight just find somewhere to stand if the place is full keep lining up here right outside five someone is still thinking about it and saying apostle I'm a nice person have never done anything wrong it's just that I've not declared Jesus join them by the self-righteousness of no man can he be saved you didn't do anything wrong but that very nature of darkness is resident upon you all of you who are standing here please don't look at anyone lift your voice in one minute and begin to talk to jesus everyone who is standing stretch right outside and those online talk to jesus right now and say jesus i come to you i come to you pray talk to him and everyone seated i expect you to be praying for someone's salvation you know everybody around you cannot be saved there is somebody somewhere still hardened towards the things of god lift your voice and cry to jesus lord i'm saved but my father is not saved he's on his way to hellfire and i know it my mother is not saved i know today that if the trumpet sounds they are going to hell for sure I know my sister is not saved my husband is not saved my wife is not saved my colleague in office is not saved Lord I know that pastor is not saved he has a church but he's not saved pray cry your heart to jesus he is here much miracle service you are meeting with the savior he wants to reveal himself first as savior before deliverer before healer
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All of you standing stretched to the outside, please look at me. I see you, some of you are crying sincerely from your heart. Listen. There is no man who has the power and authority to condemn you, young and old. I don't care what you have done. I don't care how your life is. We are all products of his mercy and grace. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't let any man point an accusing finger, but then you cannot remain where you are. There are people standing here and say, man of God, if you will lead me to pray, I will, I will love it. I've been praying for an opportunity like this, but there are powers always keeping me. Wherever you are, inside, outside, don't mind who is looking at you. Lift your right hand to heaven and you are going to say this prayer after me. Please, it is not a poem. It is a genuine, genuine prayer, meaning from the depth of your heart. It says, I am not ashamed of the gospel. Why? For it is the power of God unto salvation. The Lord wants to give you a new beginning. I know you came to be healed, but he wants to take over your destiny. With your hands lifted to Jesus, who is here, not in heaven, right here in this place. Say after me, passionately and sincerely. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. This night, I have heard your word. And I make up my mind that from tonight and for the rest of my days, I will live for you. I will serve you without shame, without fear, without going back. This night, I hand over my life to you. Say it again. I hand over my life to you. Be my Lord, be my Savior. I declare that the power of sin, of Satan, of the flesh is broken. Every association that is not of God, I am separated from them this night. I declare that the joy of salvation and the peace and a new beginning is mine from today i am a child of god and i will live for him forever hallelujah keep your hands lifted jesus look at the ones you died for when you hung upon that cross you saw them and today we are glad to present them to you this is why you put this meeting together we lift them up as trophies worthy trophies for your blood worthy trophies for your death and lord i decree and declare that this ones you have brought tonight none will be lost i speak over your life the joy of salvation that very few people know about may it be your inheritance today i declare that the peace that surpasses all understanding let it be yours today i declare that every guilt the devil uses against you every accusation will roll it away right now in the name of jesus i declare your sins forgiven by the mercies of god i declare that you have a new beginning with god you are empowered by the spirit to live a victorious life in the name of jesus christ amen and amen let's appreciate them keep standing everyone i'll give you some instructions now now there are so many of you probably hundreds of you this is what i want you to do um protocol please help coordinate let's do it this way those of you who are in the second overflow the overflow right from the door that leads to the road as you go out please let's have some of the ushers you stand so they can attend to you there what will happen is they are going to have your details i know you are all so many but we want your details we have a system to follow you up and to make sure you are grounded in god that's number one that's the first instruction so those outside those here at the overflow and those inside you may not need to go out just wait where you are and someone will come to attend to you please i hope the relevant departments are listening so that we can 
respond to them very quickly. We have five, ten minutes for this because I'll start praying for the sick now. Praise the Lord. Now, the second instruction I want to give all of you is this. The Bible says, they that be planted in the house of God. It says they shall flourish. It is important not only for you to just get born again, but to be planted in the house of God. Instruction number three is we have a system of spiritual growth here in Koinonia. It's a very large house. So what we do is that anyone who gets born again, automatically we transfer them to our prayer department for one month. Whether or not you will continue as a member in the prayer department, the prayer department meets Tuesdays 4 p.m. just at the church uh, when you walk from this road right down Rema Chapel. More information will be communicated to you. And so we usually have all um, new converts to be part of the prayer department. There you get to be filled with the Holy Spirit and you have seasons of prayer to build your spirit and it helps you to cultivate a culture of the word and also to have a kingdom community that supports your spiritual growth. All these things are very important for your growth. I don't want you to waste this experience. Praise the Lord. I bless you in the name of Jesus. And shortly the Lord is going to be turning your life around in greater dimensions. So let's do this very quickly. Appreciate them as they go. Just guide them whether or not you belong to any department. You're a member of Koinonia. You see any of them moving. Just guide them as they go out. Quickly, let's honor them Koinonia as they do so. Is that the best you can do? Hallelujah. Please coordinate them. Coordinate them. Let's just give them some room so that they can go out and then we will shake off every power of darkness roaming around anybody's life. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone like you. Hey, I never see anyone Where's Sam? Help me. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone everyone stand up let's pray some prayers before let's pray some prayers while they are working on the people everyone say after me in the name of Jesus please say be serious in the name of Jesus father tonight visit me this is my destiny Give me strange results. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Visit me. In the name of Jesus, visit me. Step into my destiny. Step into my destiny. Step into my destiny. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Shout it again in the name of Jesus. Every long standing issue in my life and my destiny I declare that you must give way tonight 
lift your voice and begin to pray. Long standing challenges. Are you praying tonight? Long standing issue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, if you can pair yourselves into two and pray this prayer. If you are holding a child or you are doing something, that's all right. Otherwise, find somebody, a serious neighbor, hold a hand. I want you to agree. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the door for the next level of my life and that of my neighbor must be open now. Lift your voice and pray. Agree. If any truth shall agree. As touching, believe in what you are saying. You are opening doors. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are still holding your hands. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, tonight, take away shame. Take away mockery from my life, my family, and my neighbor. Lift your voice and pray seriously. Roll away the reproach. Roll away the reproach of mockery. Roll away the reproach of shame. Roll away the reproach. Pray. Roll away the reproach. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, expose every force, every yoke, every spirit behind the tragedies in my life, in my destiny, and my family. Expose them tonight. Lift your voice and pray. For the light shines in darkness. Pray for the light shines in darkness. Let your light shine, O God. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your anointing, let your unction locate me tonight and turn my life around. Lift your voice and pray that the power of God must locate me. Change my destiny. Let your power pray. One encounter with the anointing of the Holy Ghost can wipe your tears, my brother, my sister. Pray. 
Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord, light me, Lord. Listen, listen to me. I will just give you an instruction. Just help those under the anointing, but listen to me carefully, please, everyone. Do you know the reason why we minister deliverance? Listen, listen carefully. You have to understand this. The reason why we minister deliverance, you don't spend your whole life going through deliverance. However, there are lives come my dear when a spirit listen carefully when a spirit latches onto your life and destiny brothers and sisters let me tell you i don't care what you do physically remember spiritual intelligence you can be doing the right physical things but the presence of a spirit representing an embargo representing a covenant an authorization for your doom will keep you down there and you find out that your life will never open up when people gather like this hear me they come with prayer requests they come with problems but you see behind those problems are spirits are we together now the spirits that are responsible for lack of favor the spirits that are responsible for a hard life the spirits that are responsible for infirmity all kinds of cases you know one of our dear people here in the ministry i prayed over the father's picture i've seen those kinds of cases on television and all of that but you could look at the leg and see the bone the bone the flesh had eaten to a point that you could see the bone what happened to the man he went to bed in the night brothers and sisters i think somebody did something for him in a dream and he woke up physically and his legs started eating up the bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness you want to move forward but there is an embargo the solution is not counseling you need an encounter with power everybody say power listen the power of the holy spirit is not a negotiator it's an enforcer when the power of god comes it does not ask you whether you want to be free your assignment is to be open till it reaches you when it comes it scatters anything that does not look like god lift your hands everyone just lift your hands and be silent i'll pray for you now the spirit of god is upon me lift your hands everyone there are people here right now I want you to bring there the first sets of people who will come out. Usher's grace for you and protocol. I know you have a lot of work today because there's such a crowd right to the road. But I want to pray. Everyone, please lift your hands. The Lord is speaking to me. There are people right now in your silence. 
Hold on. Maybe just this. The power of God will begin to come upon you. What is happening right now before we pray for the sick is massive deliverance. That deliverance is equal to breakthrough, equal to new levels. But lift your hands. There are people here who are under strong yokes of delay. And the Lord gives me an instruction. We will just lift our hands and be silent. That's all the instruction. And inside and outside, the Spirit of God will begin to locate them. Are we together? When that happens, then we'll take it off from there. That's the first thing God wants to do tonight. Just lift your hands, everyone. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands. And there are people and families and those following on, online. Except you are not under the influence of the spirit of delay. That spirit must leave you. Are we together? So keep your hands lifted. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, wherever they are right now, I stretch my hands. According to the instructions you have given me, inside and outside. Right now, I see the anointing of the spirit already falling over the spirit of delay. Keep your hands lifted. Shalakataya. Bring them out outside there just the angels of the lord are walking i'm seeing like smoke just moving across lines line by line inside and outside when it comes to you when you are under that influence that's the end of it right now i command it the word of the lord is upon this prophecy in the name of jesus no instruments don't play anything outside there is massive deliverance happening separation from delays separation from delays bring them out thank you jesus delays you want to move forward but the spirit ties you down it's over right now no you can't dodge it you are under an atmosphere there is an influence the influence of the spirit line by line the holy ghost is moving row by row there is no faking it line by line lord every row every line every individual let no one in this category escape it for the sake of your mercy and your grace no matter where you are inside and outside online don't worry the spirit of god is moving one by one it must catch up with you the word of the lord is upon it bring them out young old destinies that have been delayed tonight there is serious grace for deliverance those of you lifting up your hands be sensitive be sensitive we're in a prophetic atmosphere right now bring them i see people outside kai my god 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 many people many people many people many people there's someone you are following from kenya you are watching from a laptop the anointing your hands are shaking the spirit of the lord is upon you judging every darkness tonight you will be located by god you prayed it you must be free please help the ushers if there are too if there are too few protocol join them different departments help them the lord really wants to set people free it's a year of triumph don't think these people are just coming out for show they represent breakthroughs these are the people who god wants to give testimonies darkness raging over the lives of people they came from different places how will god leave them that way right now all of you in front here i decree and declare to those spirits at the count of three let them go you know my voice one two three go 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 out of their lives now out now i command you by the influence of the spirit i decree and declare let their destinies go delay broken go now 
now hallelujah now lift your hands my god you'll be surprised at what will happen now everyone say after me in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus the grace for open doors right now break every chain in my life keep your hands lifted watch it happen now that's the instruction god gave me that grace breaking chains now i'm speaking across the congregation i have been seeing this for weeks but locks opening in the realm of the spirit that's what the lord is showing me but locks opening 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 right now i open them I'm under the shadow of yours Your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow of yours Your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow your influence is on Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Fire is coming on 32 people. And this fire that is coming upon them is to break family altars i hear family altars right now oh god in the name of jesus one two three i set those altars now on fire right now 32 people i see in the realm of the spirit i command it right now i command it everyone on this ground under the influence of any altar now be free now help them please help that lady be free now so right now be free now be free now your influence is all over me I'm under the shadow of your own everyone lift your hands say this after me in the name of Jesus please say it seriously say in the name of Jesus any spirit that has had access to my life and is causing destruction hear the word of the lord as i shout the name jesus i command you to live my life at the count of three shout jesus there will be an exiting of many strange spirits one two three shouting i command spirits you go now you go now you go now you go now inside and outside any spirit resident within any man's life any woman's life causing pain help me say as I pray for grace for you in Jesus name because what I see now is not a nice scene the Lord is asking me that we shout Jesus there are people 
who are going to vomit physical things that's why i said it's a messy scene I, I apologize we're very neat and organized people inside and outside but in the name of jesus right now any stranger in your body at the count of three must go out now one two three i command every stranger go now every poison every devil causing sicknesses every fibroid every devil every enchantment hallelujah the lord is showing me a vision of a lady if you're here i want you to come out i'm seeing your family doing something like a sacrifice and they are giving somebody everybody a substance like a drink something to take they gave everybody including you and you took it where is that person please if you're here i want you to come out quickly it's a is a highly diabolic thing they gave everybody where are you come your deliverance comes now i'm under the shadow of your wings Help me. your influence is all upon me Let's have another mic, please. Hold on. Stand up, my dear. Is this the lady? Two of them. Stand up. Where are you from? Look at me. Huh? Kogi State. What happened to you? Hold on. I combated. Hold on. I'm looking at you, Kai. This thing. You entered a covenant. Huh? Yes. With who? I don't know my mother i don't know they brought somebody and you people entered the covenant and they gave you something hold my hands shout jesus, jesus. i command that covenant jesus. that demonic thing time your life and this miracle service it lives now in the name of jesus you too where are you from i'm from kogi state you are from kogi state the same thing hold my hands look at me I command that devil to leave you now whatever yoke please don't come out if i don't call your case are you part of them mr man young man you're part of them in the name of jesus i set you free bring the, your, you two come make sure that so that we don't get the place rowdy be delivered now help her out be free now out i'm interested in this lady please stand up my dear if you can this lady's whole family is in bondage whole family the entire family nothing is working in your family the lord wants to deliver you right now hold my hands i command that spirit your time is up leave this family now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i break the yoke over your life now out now There is a lady you have been coughing blood where are you you are coughing literally and blood is coming out there is a lady like that please where are you let's hurry up we have a lot to do this night the lord is asking me to minister to a lady that coughs and then blood you cough blood who is that inside outside except you are under the anointing please come out quickly i want to pray for that person now where are you how long hold on just just keep her where's the mic how long you you are an usher you how long three weeks eh? three weeks. for three weeks you've been caught lay your hand on your chest you too lay your hands on your chest you too ah huh? your what hold on please guys hold on yours is what the substance you spoke about what substance lift your hands lift your hands lift both of them 
I'm seeing an angel pouring something on your hand. Your hand will start shaking. And then the Lord is bringing you strange deliverance. It will start from your hands down to your body. I place the word of God upon your life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Both of you, look at me. Both of you cough out blood. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon you. It ends now. In the name of Jesus, out right now. There are spirits responsible for this. Kite. Ta, 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 ta. Do you know what I just saw? The Lord opened my eyes and I saw like a cage. And in the cage, I saw snakes. That's all I'm seeing. That's all I'm seeing. Lift your hands, everybody. The Lord is just asking me to wave my hands over the congregation. There are people who represent that oppression. It will leave now. The Lord is asking me to wave my hands. Lord, as you have said, I see snakes in cages. Whose destiny is that? Right now, whose destiny is that? I wave my hands. In the name of Jesus, please release them for your glory. Release them now. Help them, please, Jesus Christ. Inside, outside. Be out of that cage now. I see snakes, serpents. Some of you see them in your dreams. They must go now. They are leaving you now. Now. They are leaving you now. I command liberty. 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 Hallelujah. I'm hearing a name, Jane. Jane, like J A N E. Jane. 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 I'm also hearing another name, Victory. Is it Victory? Like Victory. Victory. Please don't come out if that's not your name. What's your name? Jane. Your name is Victory. Where are you from? Delta State. Delta State. I have to pray for you. Your family is being seriously oppressed. Why are you people here? You are all Jane. Jane, your name is Victory. I want to pray for you. Kaza Chat. Kaza Chat. Is it Kaza Chat? Who is that? Kaza Chat. I'm hearing that name. That's that's like a Kaduna name. Kaza Chat. Please, who is that? The breakthrough of your family has come. Kaza Chat. Is it? I don't know why God is going to Kaduna now. Nom. Is it Nom Shu or Nom Shu or something like that? I don't know if there's a name like that. Nom. Nom Shu or something like that. Nom something. Listen, that is your name. You are. Why are they here? I call their names. I'm going to lay hands on you. Except for you. I don't even know why the rest of you are. But please, I want you to believe. The moment I lay my hands on you, something will happen. The Lord is saying I should start with you. Lord, open her door now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands. Reproach leaves your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Reproach leaves your life now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Reproach leaves your life now. Reproach leaves your life now. Hold my hands. Call your parents and tell them the Lord is giving them breakthrough. Your family, your entire family. Delta State. Breakthrough right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. There's serious witchcraft over your life. Hold my hands. Lord, the Lord is asking me to walk with you. This is how your destiny is opening up. That's what the Lord is asking me to do. Walk with you. To walk with you. Something is happening. It's a prophetic act. You will not help her to walk with you. Opens in the name of Jesus. Your destiny opens up now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hands. This girl. Lift your hands where you are. I'm seeing wind around you. And the Lord is that wind is going anti-clockwise anti-clockwise and the lord said his restoration i stretch my hands upon you right now 
I release that praise for restoration. Restoration. There are seven other people who will tap from this anointing. This same anointing right now. Seven. Seven. Right now. The anointing for restoration is coming upon them. Receive it right now wherever you are. Zabata kata la kata frate kese brende gatai. Lekate pras kata baratu shubre diara. Hallelujah. I'm seeing one mama outside. It's like you came here with your daughter or something. I'm seeing a woman sit down with her daughter outside. Now that's all I'm giving about you. Please, if you can find that woman and if you understand what I've said, I want you to run and come. I want to pray for the sick now, but God is delivering people. God is delivering people. Seth. Seth. Who is Seth? S-E-T-H. S-E-T-H. Your name is Seth. 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 The Lord is stepping into his life right now. Seth. Is there someone with that name? Seth. Have you found the mama I'm talking about? Don't worry, let them come. Let them come. Doesn't matter. With your daughter. Mama. There is the spirit of death on your family. I'm going to pray for you. Don't be afraid. I'm not a prophet of doom. You came from where, Mama? I came from Edo State. From Edo State? Yes, but I'm living with Sasa. You live in Wusasa? Yes. But you came from Edo State. Yes. I must pray for you. There, why is he here? Who is this gentleman? Seth. You too? You are an usher. Okay. I, this is not the set I'm seeing. No, I will pray for you, but I'm seeing someone else. Eh? Please don't be embarrassed. I want to pray for somebody now. Huh? Because I'm seeing an accident killing you. And you took what's the name of this thing they take? We we and you were high. You were about to cross the road, and then I'm seeing a truck with the name Angote on it, just running and killing you. There is somebody here you smoke please don't be there's nothing to be embarrassed about it's not like you are not a serious person but this thing you started taking it from when you were small and it's destroying your life you want to be free but you can't leave it please don't be ashamed come out now quickly please if you are still thinking about it remain on your seat some you have to be free now come out i'm seeing one you wore jeans dress like your shirt I don't know if it's your shirt, it's jeans. Who is that? No, no. There, there's another. Come out, I will pray for you. This, this is not the only guy. Just keep them here. I will pray for him. I'm seeing another person outside the second overflow. You are standing on the road. The Spirit of God is speaking to you. Speaking to you. This thing they roll and they smoke. And then you even, I'm seeing you swallowing a drug. I don't know what drug is that. Please come out, come out. Clap for them as they come out. Join them quickly and come. Whether I mention your case or not, you are involved in any kind of liquor and addiction. India, hem, whatever, forward march. Come here, your salvation, come sir. Please appreciate them, clap for them. Some of them are not bad people, it's a spirit. Don't be ashamed. Please usher, uh, direct them so that they come here. I'm seeing up to five ladies in this group. Up to five ladies. Come. Don't be ashamed. Don't let anyone laugh at you. Please, this is a miracle service. Join them. We, we, Codeine. Whatever it is, join them. Whether you know the name of what you are smoking or swallowing or not, come and join them. Please, quickly, that addiction must be broken now. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Keep coming. The devil is a liar. 
Who can stand against our King? No one can. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a very small boy. Very small boy. Very small boy. We're supposed to join them. Young man, please hold on. Please, if the parents of the boy are here, don't flog him. Please. This is a very small boy. You will not even know that this boy is wise to smoke this thing. He saw an elderly person smoking it. Come out. There is a small boy here. I know what. Drag him out. Come. Where is the boy? Come out, please. Gentlemen, I'm going to pray for you. Don't worry, you are not bad people. I'm seeing a number of ladies, up to five ladies. They are refusing to come out. There's nothing to be embarrassed. Jesus Christ wants to set you free. This is a miracle service. It's not like you have evil people. That's not what we are saying. It's a spirit. You don't stop by counseling. Mama, there is a spirit of death over your family and I will pray for you I will pray for you in the name of Jesus who is this your daughter what's your name my dear Lillian. Hold on. is this mic working can you add Lillian, the voice Lillian. Lillian what do you want God to do for you I want God to heal you what's wrong with you I mean, I have no, my no 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 you had a dream huh you saw a snake you can't even remember it and from that day, you started having serious problem with your stomach. Huh? What's wrong with you? I've, I've, I've got to test. And, 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 and they told me that it's a, a liver problem. Liver problem? Yes, 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 because I look at you and you would think you are pregnant. But you are not pregnant. Your stomach is swelling up. Mama, is that true? How long has it been? It's, it's to three years now. Look at, look at, look at evil and wickedness. Are you married? Because you see now, assuming a brother has been trusting God to marry this sister, do you think the brother will marry her? Please help me. Do you think he will marry her? You look at her now and you think she's five or six months pregnant, but she's not pregnant. Kai. There is a lady who has refused to come out. The power of God is going to come upon her outside. You are supposed to be part of those who will be delivered here. I'm seeing the angel of the Lord outside. That lady, you were a sincere lady. But I, I don't know if it's um, another lady. I don't want to say what I'm seeing, not to embarrass you. Because the, what you were introduced to is not only smoking this. There are other things that I see that I may not be able to talk about. I'm, I'm asking you to come out God wants you to be free for the sake of your family the power of God is going to come upon you outside outside to be free of this thing my dear look at me this is koinonia the Lord is going to set you free you believe in miracles mama you believe in miracles yes, I have to pray for you money runs away from you huh madam I will pray for you mama yeah I'm okay do you hear how sir okay this is your daughter please be comfortable whatever language you can speak there is an interpreter here nobody says you must be able to speak english or whatever any language please if i call you here or you stand here for healing don't be under any pressure to say you must whatever language is comfortable speak it if i don't understand we'll find somebody to interpret please don't put yourself under pressure and say no we are excellent people but we are not fools we can't put anyone under pressure hallelujah mommy i want to pray for you because i'm seeing the lord bringing restoration to your life this is what i am seeing and the lord is asking me to pray for you can i pray for you man i will pray for you I have to pray i'm seeing not you but i'm seeing somebody close to you having an accident traveling to abuja and having an accident 
we have to pray i'm not saying it will happen once god reveals it is broken lord jesus stretch your hands and let's pray for this mommy you don't have to know her please stretch your hands and pray lord we avert death we avert death now in the name of jesus christ we avert death by the power of the holy ghost mama Is there a name like Gracilda? Is it Gracilda or Gracilda? Gracilda or Gracilda, something like that. Gracilda, Gracilda, something like that. If that sounds like your name, I'm sorry if I don't mention it well. The Lord kept mentioning it in my ears. Gracilda or Gracilda, something like that. If that is your name, please come on. Eh? Jacinta. No. But come, where are you coming from? Zaria. Zaria, I have to pray for you. There's a gentleman who will destroy you. Be free now from every influence. Hold my hand. Anybody that is not designed by God, I separate you and him forever. Say amen. In Jesus' name. Gracilda. Gracilda. I'm hearing Gracilda. Something Hilda. Please. If it's not you, no problem. But that's what I'm hearing. Mama, let's pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. New beginning for you. Hold up, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, lay your hands on your stomach. Kai. Lord Jesus, you gathered people here tonight to set them free. I cause the spirit responsible for this. I decree and declare that this stomach will shrink every devil will go away in the name of Jesus Christ if you agree with me say amen. amen look at me and you will never be barren in your life say amen there are two ladies you are inside here there is an embargo of barrenness on your family fire is coming on those two ladies now to break that embargo you don't even know it's in your family it may not be in your life but i'm seeing it right now the angel of the lord is locating two ladies right now and is breaking that embargo thank you father i put the word of god upon this prophetic word that embargo is broken right now right now right now two ladies two ladies there's no reason why you should come here and your life should be the same Mama, I will pray for you. This is your daughter. Do you know that God is going to use this girl? God will use your daughter for his glory. Hold my hands, my dear. There is a small girl now, but God will use you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I anoint you. Mama, I decree and declare, let hardship live your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, let hardship live your life. In the name of Jesus hold on I'm seeing a wind and the Lord is asking me to follow it this is somebody's deliverance here this is somebody's deliverance here this is somebody's deliverance here this is somebody's deliverance the power of God is coming upon a few people as I'm walking across this place this is somebody's deliverance this is somebody's deliverance. Lord, set them free right now. Right now. Right now. I'm seeing something rolling around this robe. This robe. This robe. This robe. Shala sobaria taska bandabria. Legetegeba sharatos kabredia. There's no hiding. There's no hiding. Someone in this robe. Someone in this robe. Someone in this robe hardship over your family is being broken right now i'm stretching my hands this row right there father locate that person right now right now right now right now right now in the name of jesus christ mama come i want you to rejoice look at me the lord hold on the lord is saying i should tell you that where you have been crying you will begin to laugh 
you have been crying for 30 years and the lord is saying your breakthrough has come in the name of the lord jesus christ please shoot for me come madam hold my hands the lord is there and she tell you it's your season of laughter in the name of jesus christ your season of laughter your season of laughter look at me lose her hands now lose her hands now lose her hands now in the name of jesus christ let her hands be loose your hands are tied i lose your hands in the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus christ open doors open doors open doors open doors open doors that's what the lord is saying open doors the lord has said you have waited too long it's time for the door of your destiny to be open open doors come there is a spirit in your life that makes bad boys look for you hold my hands leave her now out out when bad boys see you they can't leave you as they are passing they see you that spirit calls them back i don't know who this girl is you're a small girl but the things you know are what you have done out now in the name of jesus you have gone to places you should not go you have you have the phone numbers of people that if we know now i'm not saying you're a bad girl it's a spirit including married men they will be minding their business that spirit will call them to you i command that devil to leave you now leave you now in the name of jesus christ i want us to pray for these gentlemen before we pray for the sick you see let me tell you something addiction is a very wicked spirit don't look at them especially our dear sisters my brother what happened to you eh? gun shot gun shot yes, sir. who shot you i'm a soldier i was shot by my colleague Meduguri. you are meduguri yes sir no he wanted to kill you eh? yes. but he didn't kill you he was directed to kill you hi you're a soldier how long has this been it's going to seven months now seven months which where did they shoot your legs and you can't walk with it look at me you believe in miracles lift your crutch lift it lift it come come lift your legs Go ahead you're a soldier lift your legs look at this come on koinonia look at this lift your cross up look at this look at this look at this walk as fast as you can don't be afraid turn around turn around come because your wound is not healing there is a wound but that is not healing from today I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord who has perfected this leg will also perfect you where are you now you are in Zaria you are still in the force yes you are still in the force huh? yes sir. I want to pray for you do you believe God can favor yes sir I have to pray for you God is going to connect you with a senior person and he will lift you huh? Look at me, brothers and sisters. I want to break this addiction from your life now. Are we together? You are very sincere people. Some of you were initiated into this thing by bad friends. Some of you were initiated into these things by spirits. I'm going to lay my hands on you. While the congregation, whether your child is here or not, whether your brother is here or not, as you are praying, you are sowing a seed for your own home are you hearing what i'm saying stretch your hand don't look at anybody's face and run your mouth on any it's none of your business koinonia is a it's like a hospital stretch your hands i will lay my hands on every one of them please all of you should pray i want to break addiction from your life don't feel condemned jesus will help you it must be broken right now broken right now broken right now any kind of addiction 
Out! Out! Now! Out! Out! In the name of Jesus. Out! Look at this guy. Out! Break from his life now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be set free. Be set free. As soon as I lay my hands on you, continue praying. Be set free. Addiction, break. Break in the name of Jesus. Hold my hands, darling. No addiction for liquor. No addiction for drugs. Something is leaving you. I'm seeing something like an arrow coming out of your head. Out of her life now. In the name of Jesus. I break that addiction. Ah. Hey, Jimmy. Come. The Lord is saying you should pray for this guy. He will pray for you. This guy needs serious prayer. Just lay your hands on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Out. Out. Now. I command that devil. This is somebody that loves God but this addiction must be broken right now. I break it right now. I break it right now. Hold my hands. You are a nice lady but we have to break this thing. Lord please for your mercy let it be broken in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to minister to somebody. I'm seeing a very interesting case. You love God. Please don't be ashamed. There is a particular pain reliever you are addicted to. Who is that person? I want to pray for you now. Whether you are sick or not. Come and stand here particular pain reliever you can't help it you can wake up 1 a.m in the night and swallow it it's a spirit pain reliever i'm not saying you are sick and they gave you in the hospital god is visiting addictions this night quickly come don't sit back and say i'm all right allow god set you free let them come Look at this. Pain. I don't know what it is, but I hear my spirit pain reliever. Whether you are sick, whether you are fine, the urge will hook you and you have to go and get it. If you, you can prefer to take it than to eat food, it must go right now. That's why God put this meeting to help people. There's one of you, fire is coming on you now. After that fire comes on you, then I'll pray for the rest. That's the instruction God is giving me. One of you, fire, literal fire, is coming upon you from heaven. As I lay my hands upon you, that addiction breaks right now. Stretch your hands and pray for them. Don't feel embarrassed. Broken now. Broken now. Broken now. In the name of Jesus. Addiction broken now. Broken now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Broken now. Broken right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Broken now. Broken now. If you have for prayers, just move them forward. Broken now in the name of Jesus. Broken now in the name of Jesus. Broken now in the name of Jesus. It's broken now in the name of Jesus. Broken in the name of Jesus. Place your hand on your stomach. God is not only setting you free, He's setting you free from something else. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Addiction broken now. Addiction broken now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Addiction is broken now in the name of Jesus Christ. Broken now. 
Hold my hands. Let her go in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a spirit that wants to destroy your life. I command now, there's no hiding place for you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, you must be set free. You are standing in for somebody, no problem. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural freedom. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, praise the Lord. Please, except you are nursing a child or doing something, let's all rise. Those outside, they are still praying for you, no problem. All other people, please stand up. Rise up, I want us to pray. If you are yet to submit your prayer request, please do it quickly. The Bible says, unto him that answers prayers shall all flesh come. In one minute, God can turn your life around. Everyone stretch your hands here and pray. I'm going to lay hands on the request. Pray passionately from the depth of your heart. Lord, I will not have to write this again. Pray. I've written it. The Bible says after two days, please, if there are still people coming, bring it quickly. It says after two days, he will revive us and on the third day, he will raise us up. Online here, please pray. I'm laying my hands on this request and we're asking the God of heaven visit men and women. Are you praying now? Pray! Pray! In the next one minute, I'd like you to pray blast in tongues and say, Lord, this is the last of the prayer request that I'm having to write concerning this issue. Hallelujah. Agree with me with a loud amen in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare over every request gathered from this nation and from the nations of the earth online and here in our local environment. Jesus, I present to you impossible situations according to men and I ask you turn it around now turn it around now turn it around now let every breakthrough request here be turned into a testimony now every case here said by men to be impossible we we collide that case with the power of god and we produce testimonies now whoever must die for this prayer to be answered dies now whoever must live for this prayer to be answered lives now Whoever must rise for this prayer to be answered rises now. Whoever must go down for this prayer to be answered goes down now. Whoever must hear God for this prayer to be answered hears God now. Father, I pray in the name of jesus may your people not have to write this again agree with me may your people not have to write this again lord i pray that before miracle service april let every request here be turned into a testimony May the fire and the anointing of the Holy Ghost that makes all the difference let it rest on this request the same way fire fell from heaven to consume the sacrifice of Elijah may fire fall on this now 
it has been prayed for you will not write it again it has been prayed for you will not write it again in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please lift up your hands everyone hallelujah listen we're in a very strange season of the manifestation first of the spirit of revelation listen carefully there is a very spectacular outpouring god wants to upgrade the work of his people to access the mysteries of the kingdom not just to know him god wants to equip us with mysteries are we together number two there is a strange outpouring of the supernatural power of god for performance for performance not just that you had god and it never happens not just that you speak and it never happens number three this is personal to us as a family of faith god has declared that is our year of triumph i want you to believe this word oh believe it otherwise you will sit down and you will watch people rise from nothing and then you will keep clapping i'd like you to insist we still have a few minutes for this meeting to be done tonight insist that if you have never stood upon this altar to testify make up your mind and say no god i must stand before your people are you hearing what i'm saying as i speak over your life now among the many things i want to speak right now i want to activate upon your life the grace and the unction for performance many of you may not know what this anointing is listen carefully lift your hands he said who has ever heard that a city was built in one day but as soon as zion travels there is a grace that is coming upon the people of god hear me for performance he said blessed is she that believes for unto her not unto them mm -mm, mm -mm. this is not a corporate thing unto her there shall be there are many things god has said that has not come to pass there is a grace that engenders performance i prophesy to you now in the name of the lord god who called me and sent me may that unction that will make results appear speedily let it come upon you like fire now let it come upon you like fire now receive it now is yours receive it now is yours receive it now is yours performance 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 shake it la bata la prete get soto ropashiata grace for performance everything hanging in the realm of the spirit that is already your portion released by god i decree within the next 30 days it appears physically now i prophesy the spirit of the lord is upon me i speak within the next 30 days it manifests in the name of jesus whatever has slowed down your pace in life so that you are not moving at the pace designed by god i put fire upon your feet and i command speed now i put fire upon your feet i command strength speed strength speed strength speed anything that has not yet worked in your life i don't know why but i'm prophesying i'm speaking to it start working now 
many of you don't understand what i'm doing to you start working now i don't know what projects you are currently on that has refused to produce i force it to bear fruit now I force it to bear fruit now. Hear me. The Lord spoke to my spirit and told me that the month of April for Koinonia, you may not believe it, but for Koinonia and everyone connected to this grace, the Lord said we will see a strange dimension of wealth and manifestation write this down brothers and sisters is the word of the lord i think i was telling you yesterday that the lord told me this you will see people that know nothing about money rise in a way that they themselves are asking what happened listen except the lord has not sent me i declare you must be part of the testifiers don't say i'm too small receive it don't be foolish in the name of jesus you must be a participant listen i tell you brothers and sisters please write this down you will see a strange rising rising write this down you will say i said it nothing to some i mean mysteriously people will have to ask what is happening it is a grace there is a grace that makes it happen i'm not talking of business i'm talking about the suffering word of god upon the life of a man may it be your portion in the name of jesus i decree upon you the kind of favor that will make even your enemies to say there is God in your life I release that dimension of favor now listen you can't rise in this kingdom without the favor of God you will struggle for nothing please hear me I prophesy it again whoever is lacking favor on his life I decree from this night carry favor inside outside everywhere online carry favor let me prophesy over finances whatever makes money run away from you don't say i'm talking about money you need it for what is coming in ahead whatever makes finances run from you whatever dug a hole in your life that makes you suffer in misery and penury i turn it around now i turn it around now i pray for every student here the kind of results you have never seen i release it to you now i release it by the spirit i release it from the spirit in the name of jesus christ anyone due for promotion here or anyone's family member rightfully due for promotion and either because of religious sentiments or because of ethno tribal sentiment they have trampled upon you i decree and declare may the angel of god responsible for lifting visit your destiny and ensure that your promotion must manifest I pray for your loved ones. I pray for you. Whoever is called jobless here, yeah, before next miracle service, get something doing now. I prophesy it again. Whoever is called jobless,
before next miracle service i don't know how it will happen but get a good job there are people here trusting god for direction very clear direction for the next level of their lives could be maritally could be geographic location whatever it is hear god in this season like never before hear god in this season like never before lift your hands i release upon you the grace for supernatural miracles receive it right now receive it right now sapoto so brigadier receive it right now from tonight i declare whoever you speak over and command their destinies to open may my god honor it i said may my god honor it whoever fights you goes down immediately whoever fights you goes down immediately hear me whoever mocks your passion for god goes down immediately whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise may his prayer be answered whoever has said over his dead body for you to rise in koinonia tonight may their prayers be answered every embargo of bad luck upon your face that makes your helpers look at you and turn aside i tear that fail completely in the name of jesus favor like never before testimonies like never before koinonia is the place of the anointing koinonia is the place of unction i pray for you a new a fresh grace and anointing let it rest upon you like the dew of heaven begin to flow very effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit i'm praying it again begin to flow very effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit begin to flow effortlessly in the gifts of the spirit the mantle of honor that god has put upon my life god has put upon this ministry you are part of this vision you are under this grace there's no reason why it should not work in your life i command it to start speaking now no more dishonor in your life no more dishonor in your life hear me for those who have been trying certain things for a long time whether it's exams whether it's admission whatever you have been doing again business i don't care i don't know where the embargo came from but i break it right now from today any man that looks upon you may god cause them to bless you hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body to their soul and to their spirit we would need you to do one thing for us too tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from and if you've got any testimony for us kindly share with us thank you for watching